And this is attempt two to make sure my sound is working properly. <laughs> you know what I should have done? I should have tested it because usually I'll go on um, I'll go on my brother's PC or something and test to make sure the sound's working. I didn't do that this time. So let's see. We're going to do that now. <laughs> so I don't I don't spend five minutes talking to complete silence. I hear myself now, so thank you, Eternal, for <laughs> noticing my sound was not working. So, I'll redo my introduction. Today, we will be doing a basic tutorial on One Hour One Life's mobile version, You Are Hope. <laughs> and now that my sound is working a little bit, I will teach you how to do a basic fence and how to get basic animals like sheep, pig, and cow we're not gonna go into taming a bear because you can do that on the phone version sort of it's a semi-tame and we're not gonna go into the dogs because that's that's a big big step but for now at least get the basic animals so you can get the basic things like milk poop <laughs> for compost sheep um the sheep wool all that fun stuff so we'll get into it um my person is she still alive she's still alive okay she might be a little hungry well we'll feed her a little bit to those who know yum i am not yumming it out right now because this is just a uh, little tutorial so i do apologize <laughs> this is not the yum tutorial so as i was saying before my sound was not working me and eternal symmetry did change up the tutorial world a little bit we have it a little more organized so you guys can see things. We got the farm a little more organized so milkweed, beans, everything are sort of in their own little spots. But because before it was a cluster of who knows. <laughs> and we also grabbed some pigs to kind of... Oh yeah, turn it around. Sorry, Eternal. Got you. She tells me, she tells me to do good things. We also got you guys some sheep. I mean, some pigs. Those are sheep. They're just naked, right? <laughs> They'll show you the basics of what we're going to be doing today. How you got to kill a wild boar and domesticate the pigs. It will all make sense later on. But if you want to see the other tutorials, they are on my YouTube called Katie Tetra. Where I have foraging, basic cooking, basic clothing. Everything's over there. Alrighty, now I should have <laughs> I should have tried some corn before I was doing this, but that's okay. So before you get animals or do fences, make sure you have plenty of corn because in order to feed the wild boars, you're gonna make sure you want to make sure you have dried corn. It will make sense in the future. So my first thing I'm gonna do is prep the food at least for the piggies. There we go. And then we're going to do it again. This this should be enough. You don't need too, too much. And then make sure that you got enough berries for the sheep. They're all dry, but I do have wild ones. Because in this version of the game, um, your wild gooseberries don't go dry. So if you were to empty this plant right here, it will come back. On the PC version... If you empty a wild gooseberry plant, it does not come back. So that's just a heads up for all those who also play on the PC. And while we're at it, I'm going to water my carrots. Because I didn't do that yesterday, only because they will seed on me while I'm not here. And we're going to need carrots for the sheep. So let's find my... Here they are. And I'll get my book out so you can guys see. If I highlight it, it will tell you used dry plant carrots. So we're just going to water water a few of these because we're going to need them. And if we end up emptying, emptying a water a pond. Oops. Got to be careful when you're clicking things on your phone. <laughs> I will teach you guys how to do the well on the phone version too. Because it's a little, actually, it's a lot different than the PC version. There. Three carrots should be plenty for what we're going to do today. I'm going to eat my food. Delicious. I should name myself so it's not doing this. My family name will be Forger. 
or Dodger, whatever, whatever my fingers want to click, and I will name myself <laughs> Cow. There, Cow the la la. la. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> that's a good name. That's the best name I've seen in forever. All right, grab my berries. So we're we're just basically prepping a little bit. So before you can do anything with animals, you gotta make make sure you make a basic fence. So I came up here to kind of show you what we're going to be looking for in the wild. You're gonna want to look for straight sticks. Then you're gonna want to turn them into shafts, and then eventually you're gonna want to turn those into fence kits. So I'm gonna be ten. None of that's there. I'll go out in the wild and show you where you can find these straight sticks. So if you look for trees called the maple tree, if I highlight my book, you will see that it will have a beautiful one straight stick. Bring that with you to your farm and you're going to want to stack it with another one. So we'll go out here again, look for another straight stick. And we're gonna go all the way back to our other one and stack it. On this game, I don't remember on the PC one. I think you can with certain sticks. You can move them um, while they're in your hand. Then you're going to want to take your sharp stone and you're going to whack them to turn them into two shafts. And this is exactly what you need for the fencing kit. Now, the only way you can make a fence is you got to make sure you got your forge all done. So you got to make sure you crafted the steel Excuse the pronunciation. Add Z. I'm just going to call it the Z. <laughs> because this is the only way you're going to make your fence kit. So you're going to go over here. And you're going to whack the shafts. And they're going to turn into a kit. Pretty easy. And what I like about the book is it kind of shows you the steps to take to make the fence. So if you go down here, see it says East-West Fence Hole. If you click it, it shows you exactly the steps you need to start building your fence, which again, I love the book on the phone version. So we're gonna, we're going to make a small fence. So what I usually like to do while in my lifetime, I like to kind of grab as many fencing I need in order to create it. You can make your fences as long as you want or as small as you want, but animals need space because if you don't give them enough space, you're not going to get the poop or the other things you need. I like to do four by four, but you can do anywhere between eight. And if you want to make a small one, just make sure you're going to murder quite a bit so they can move. So we're going to do a four by four. And as you can see, I'm leaving a space right here because I like to block the animals in with gooseberries, as you'll see down here. Oh, actually, did Eternal make gooseberry blocks? Oh, yeah. So she showed you two different ways you can do it. So if you put a gooseberry plant here, animals can't escape. Or you can also make the fence right here while it will block it in. But the problem is if you create that fence, you can't walk in there. Well, if you do the gooseberry plant, you can. Now we can use a cage door too and uh, just make a gate to open and close it. But again, if you're, if you're just learning and you don't know how to make a door, just use the gooseberry plants. Some people also put their ovens with their fencing because it's quicker when it comes to making like pies and stuff. But I like making my kitchen in a different area. So I, I don't put them together. But that's the one nice thing about this game is you can you can do whatever you want. Once you learn the basics, <laughs> go wild and create whatever. <laughs> if you want to make a huge farm, like this giant fence that goes for miles and miles and miles. Go for it. Uh, it's it's wonderful. Alrighty. So I'm just prepping right now. Just getting, seeing how much wood I need in order to finish. And, um, or how much I have left over. That way is I don't start making my fence and then realize I messed up somewhere. So you, you don't have to do this. It's... But I like to prep it before I start. Alright, my person's hungry. I should have pie. Whee. Yes. We'll eat some pie. Delicious. So I guess I can tell you guys real quick. 
In this game, instead of saying yum and meh, it makes a face. So if you look up to where it shows my health meter, you'll see it says cook raspberry and the person has a meh emoji. That's the meh face on the piece on the phone version. But if I haven't eaten something, they have the mmm delish face. <laughs> but that's your yum and meh face on the on the mobile version. So if you didn't know, that's that that shows you if you've eaten something or haven't eaten something. I like the little faces. Alright, so I, I definitely did make plenty of wood for my big old fence, which is great. Nice. So now we're going to get some dirt because I'm going to block the animals in, like I said, with gooseberry plants. So we're going to go find some soil. Hopefully I didn't use it all. <laughs> Knowing me, I probably did. No, I got some right there. We'll dry out that dirt right there. Let's go find a basket. Also on this, on the mobile version, you can put baskets on clay crocs because they like to decompose on this game. I don't know how long it takes for them to start decomposing on you, but they they do. I'll say about two hours, maybe three. But don't, don't quote me, but they do. So you got to make sure you put them on the crocs because if you don't, you're going to have to make more baskets. It's not like the biggest deal, but it, it gets a little annoying, especially like... You got a whole bunch of people, and you got no baskets or bags, because your bags all disappeared. Okay. We'll, we'll leave this bowl here. It's okay. I ran out of soil, so let's go see if I can find another mound real quick. Oh, yeah, and I also stacked up all the trees that you can plant on this game. If I have enough time, I'll show you where you can get all these trees. And this keyword. <laughs> but everything lined up here is for, um, so you know what trees you can plant. Because you can't plant them all. Oh, here we go. Nice. Look at that. Basket of soil. If I had a book bag, I could also fill my book bag up with soil. But my book bag decomposed on me, along with all my rabbit clothes I made in the last tutorial. So we're semi-naked. <laughs> Unless Santa presents have any. But I, I don't think so. All right, let's grab our handy dandy hoe. We'll go up here and get all the berries all watered down. So by the time I start getting the animals, they'll be nice and grown. Oops. There we go. See, I was telling myself when I was prepping that I probably should have made another shovel. Because we're going to need a shovel. But it's all broken. So, <laughs> oh, I did make another one. Never mind. I just, <laughs> my brain just died. Eat some raspberries. Okay, let's grab some good old gooseberries. All right, so we're going to need about four. We're only going to be able to fit three in the basket, though. Actually, instead of putting them in the basket right away, in order to make a gooseberry seed, take a flint whack the gooseberry and it turns into this really tiny black little circle dot that's your seed it's very easy to lose it or easy to not notice it's in a basket because sometimes i'll pick up baskets and i'll try to get soil in them and i can't because someone has a gooseberry seed in there and i don't realize it i'm like what is going on i don't see anything in there and then when i pick it up you can't really even see it in your person's hand so <laughs> it really messes with you Okay, you just have to assume that you have one in your hand. <laughs> unless, you're, unless you keep your book, um, your book out like I am, it kind of shows you on the left side. Alright, we need one more gooseberry. Okay. There. And we'll eat these because I want the plants to grow back fully, so I emptied them. All right, so there's our last gooseberry. So we'll come back up here and we will plant it. There, and now we just need to water them and we'll be all set to go hunting. Cause um, in order to get any of the animals I'm about to show you, you have to, <laughs> you have to murder the wild 
versions of them with babies and then take the babies with you. You gotta kidnap their children and domesticate them. <laughs> it's a violent, it's violent a game, but you know, they are delicious. <laughs> what? Are, let's see, Eternal's saying something. Don't forget you need more fence adjacent from the gooseberry. Oh yeah, yeah, I won't forget those. I usually show that after I'm done planting the berries. Because I'm trying to go one step at a time. But thank you, Eternal. I won't forget them. <clears throat> yeah, if you... We have to add, as Eternal was saying, we have to add um, more fences. Here, I'll show you. More fences right here. Adjacent to the gooseberries. Because animals... Okay, animals can walk out. But if you have a fence right here, they can't walk diagonally out for some reason. I'm not entirely sure. So you have to put four adjacent fences on each side so they will stay in. I think Eternal did this down here. Yeah, see right here. Because if you, if you don't want to put the fences adjacent, you can put this kind of fence. But like I said, um, it's if you don't want to make a door or you can't make a gate, it's better to do this. And it's handy for horses because personally, I think it looks really nice for the horses to be on these rather than hanging out right here. They can't get out because the tile occupies the fence. Yeah, that that's that makes more sense than what I'm saying. <laughs> I know what my words want to say, but words don't want a word sometimes. See, what would I do without you, Eternal? So, a little story. Me and Eternal started playing this game at the same time, which was back in August. So, there are things that she knows how to explain better than I can. Or there's things that she knows that I don't. Or there's things that I know that she doesn't. So, the nice thing about this game is we're still learning, too. Like, we know a lot, but there's just so much to the game. It's awesome, though. I really like it. And you get better and better every time you play. You learn something new. Um, and you become pros. Like, just recently, I learned that you can tame a semi-tame a bear and use it to go fishing. <laughs> Don't try that on the PC, guys. You will be mauled. But on this version of the game, you can literally ride a bear and go fishing with it. <laughs> and I think that's just beautiful. All right, so the berry should be growing now. Nice. And now that the berries are growing, oh, here's Baby Ranger. Speaking of Eternal, Eternal comes and helps me out. So every time that she is born to me, I call her Baby Ranger. Welcome, Baby Ranger. <laughs> Yay. She'll probably help me and explain things when my brain wants to die. <laughs> Let's go get this baby not naked. Typically, when I have kids on public server, I, um, I'll have a fire going always. I'll have more clothes ready for them. Um, I'll get book bags ready with yum. But since this is a tutorial world and I slowed down the food and I know this is eternal, I'm, I'm not all too concerned that they're going to run away or die or something like that. So come with me, my child. <laughs> So as I was saying, now that we got the gooseberries done, we're going to start putting the fences adjacent to one another. So right here. And we're going to whack this one. Because again, making the fence and getting it prepped is really good. Because by the time you get everything done, you'll be all set to go hunting. And your gooseberries will be done so the animals won't escape. Come here, my little F baby. <laughs> How old am I? Let's see. Highlight your character? 37. All right. I don't have much time to feed you, but good thing you came in this time. Because that would have been bad. There. So we got everything prepped, which is great. So the next thing we got to do is actually make the fence. A happy baby. <laughs> Yay! On the PC one, we'd be the jungle fam. But on this one, it doesn't matter. You're not biome restricted, I think I'm trying to say. You can travel everywhere and anywhere you want. 
So now we're going to make a stake, I believe it's called. So you're going to hit a straight stick three times. We hit it once, two, three. You got yourself a handy dandy stake. This is what we're going to need to make the fence along with a shovel. Stay. We're going to fence my baby. This is going to be their crib. <laughs> That's where they stay now. It's a pr That baby's in prison. Uh, let's use the not broken one. But we're going to break it as we make the fence. All right, let's see if my prison baby's still in there. Oh, they didn't move. Guga. <laughs> I'll say cute BB. All right, back in prison. Little do they know I'm actually making a making a prison for them so they can't escape. <laughs> they're getting naked. Okay, now they're really going to be in prison for disobeying. All right, so you're going to need a round rock to hit the stake. Child, no. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to just let her run. She starves. That's her fault. <laughs> Well, now I just have clothes here and a naked baby running around in the wild. Yeah, once your kids be free, as long as they know what they're doing, and you just let them run in the wild and defend for themselves. Because <laughs> it's accurate. That's what we do. So in order to make the fence going straight, you're going to want to hit it twice. So this is horizontal and this is vertical. So make sure your stake looks like this after you hit it. Well, yeah, you're going to shiver. And all honestly, <laughs> we're going to keep shivering because we're, we're pretty naked. See? In this game, the wild berries will grow back if you leave them. Don't try that on the PC one, though, because they will not grow back. You will be sad. And they will dry out like my domesticated berries right there. And then you're going to have to put soil on them. Okay, now that I'm not starving, back to what we were doing. So you're gonna wanna hit the stake twice. And say if you accidentally did it again, just rotate through the stuff again like this, and you'll get to where you need to be. So if you highlight it, it will tell you that it's called a use north, um, south wall stock, or stake, my, my bad. So in order to make the fence, you're gonna need your shovel, because if you try like this, look, it's not gonna work. So take your shovel, and whack it. See how little holes now went there? That's when you can put the fence on there. And Kabushki, you made yourself a fence. Now you're gonna keep doing this till you get to the berry bush. Kabushki. I grabbed the rock instead of my fence. <laughs> So, well, you see, my, my lady's turning old, so her uh, her memory is not quite all there. <laughs> she, she's forgetting things. All right, one more time. Shovel. And now put your fence. Yay, you got one side done. So now to make it horizontal, you only hit it once like this. And if you highlight it, oops, see, I already accidentally did it. We'll put our rock down and then highlight it. <laughs> if you highlight it, it will tell you now it's the east and west wall. So once again, you're going to do the same thing. Just hit it with a shovel and then put it down. And we're going to do it all the way around. So if you're making a huge fence, your shovel will break. So make sure you make at least two or three shovels, depending how big of a farm you're, or fence you're gonna make. Fences are good for multiple things. Like you can use them for animals. I've also seen people use them to keep people out of their villages on public server. If you don't have a brick wall yet. Like, especially if you're worried about griefers. Or you could just use it to like keep wild boars out. Because sometimes if someone domesticates wild boars far away and don't realize that they're going to chase a person. Why, thank you for a carrot, child. <laughs> I must have been hungry. <laughs> Wait, don't use all my carrots. I need those for the sheep. I'm, oh, you know what? I might have accidentally 
<laughs> no, no, never mind. I didn't water them again. So I learned that um, carrots will seed on the phone version every hour if you don't water them. If you water them, it's like they will seed up in maybe 15 or 30 minutes. So yeah, fun little fact right there. Look at this beautiful fence. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is the size that I usually make on public server. That way my uh my animals have some room. I usually don't put animals together like I separate my cows with cows, sheep with keep, sheep, pigs with pigs, but for tutorial purposes, they're all going to be put in the same little <laughs> same little fence. Because then, uh, because fences can take a while. Like, I prep the sticks, but as you can see, I don't have enough sticks to really make three, four other fences right here. And my gir my person's already quite old, so. I like that I tried to hit it with a shovel. <laughs> there we go. Almost done. Make sure you don't forget about your, um your adjacent fences because in order to make the animals not escape as eternal said it's occupying the space so when the animals are like running around here they're not gonna run out and all of a sudden the space is is empty see because they can't because they only can run like that so when they run they're not gonna make it if that makes sense I hope it makes sense. <laughs> Just know that that fence is occupying the space so the animal can't get out. <laughs> Unless you want to make the, um, the other gate. Which I could show you guys too. I should have made one side like that, but it's okay. Maybe I'll make it in a corner somewhere. So these are also domestic. See how it says use domesticated gooseberries? If I was to take all the seeds out of the, um, off of these berries, I'm going to have to put soil on them to regrow them, unlike the wild ones. Again, though, on the PC, wild gooseberries will always dry out. It doesn't matter if they're domesticated or not. So just a heads up when you start out as an Eve, just be aware of that. There we go. We have made beautiful fences. Now, say you want to make that corner fence. I'll just make it over here. Oh, um, actually, yeah, no. I'm trying to think if I want to make a new one or if I just want to kill a fence. Because <laughs> you can also kill your fence. I believe to kill a fence. It's been a while since I murdered a fence, but let's see if I remember. I don't actually remember. <laughs> hey, Eternal! <laughs> Baby Ranger, I may need your assistance. It's been a long time since I tried to kill a fence. <laughs> I know it has something to do with the shovel. Actually, yeah. So, say I'm gonna make a fence right here. Oh, yeah, the mallet! Thank you! What would I do without you? <laughs> what a good baby ranger! Making my brain remember things. Oops. I hit the shelf by accident! I'm getting too trigger happy here. So, say you wanna get rid of a fence. So, first, what you're gonna do, and this is timed too. So, take your shovel. Make sure you have a mallet with you. Because say you messed up and you're like, ah, oh, I didn't mean to put that fence there. Or you want to move it to change up your place. Quickly hit it with the mallet. And then hit it with your shovel. See, I already messed up. Mallet. Shovel. Oh, no. Oh, no. What? What's happening? <laughs> I can't hear my sound cue, so. It's usually best if you have two people working with you, too. Oh, oh no, right here. Because you gotta go fast, see? Because if you're not fast enough, you'll see you'll do what I was doing where you're struggling. If you're by yourself, just make sure you got, like, fast moves and you get it done. But 
<laughs> if you're not fast, you'll struggle a few times like I was up there. <laughs> but yeah, just always know to move your fences. Mallet, shovel. There we go. And to make a corner fence, you basically do what I was doing with the shovel. And you make that four pillary looking one. And then it will take, it will make this for you. Okay. But if you guys need me to actually show that, I can too. It's, it's. Totally fine. I'm going to eat these raspberries because they're so delicious. <laughs> so my person's 48. I don't really have enough time to show animals. So what I might end up doing is I might end up dying and coming back. Because this is a private server, so I'll come back very quickly. Goodbye, my child. <laughs> Sorry, child. I gotta go murder myself. <laughs> You'll be fine. Take care of yourself. <laughs> now I gotta go run in the wild. Find myself a pig or a something. I'm not going to trigger a bear because that would not be fun. Maybe I'll find a snake. Let's see. Come here, little snakey. Watch me not find enemies. Oops. Just because I'm looking for one. <laughs> Horse, you can't murder me. The mosquitoes on this game, they they hurt you, but they're not as deadly as they are in the PC one. Like, the PC one, they usually, once you get hit, if someone doesn't feed you, you're dead. This one, I think it's like, I think you just wait like a minute, a minute and a half, and you're okay. So, mosquitoes aren't going to be the way for me to die. But it does, it does lower my food. And when I get out of my sickness, I'll be as low as it shows. Hmm, I think Eternal may have murdered all the boars for my tutorial. <laughs> Bad baby ranger. <laughs> There's no more boars down there. All right, well, there's plenty of swamps. I'll just go to my northern swamp. <laughs> when you want to die, but you just can't murder yourself. That's my life right now. Ah, here we go. Hmm. Let's see. That's a much smaller swamp than I thought that was. That's all right. So we'll just we'll just starve to death then. Get hit by another mosquito. That might work. Murder me, mosquitoes. Ooh, we have a cow. That's good. So we got a close cow. Here's some more swamp. Any piggies? Ooh, I see a pig right there. He's hiding though. Murder me, pig. Murder me, pig. Thank you. But see how the phone says Happy Grizzly Bear? As I said, on the PC version, you can semi-tame a grizzly bear to do your bidding. <laughs> but we're not going to be taming no grizzly bears in this tutorial. That's going to be farther in the future, along with domesticating wolves for all these beautiful doggos. Because that's, that's a little more advanced than animal care. <laughs> I'm dying. Ooh. Maybe I should run back to my child. And then they'll see me dead. <laughs> oh, I didn't make it. That's okay. <laughs> okay, let's head back to my tutorial. Now that I'm young and beautiful. Oh, I'm her baby. No, I can't. I can't go hunting yet. I should have knew this was going to happen. I thought I was going to be born as an Eve, but I got born as a baby. <laughs> well, this is unfortunate. Hello, mom. I am naked, baby. <laughs> Close me, mother. I'm naked. I'll say H. Because I can't say anything else. <laughs> mom, I need some clothes. I'm just a naked little baby. <laughs> you dancing. That's right. You can dance, um, your mom, you can't get out of your mom's arms in this game like you can on the other one unless they're super hungry. Or they're not your mom and they're taking care of you. So you can kind of just dance like this. You're kind of stuck. My name's Perry. <laughs> ah, that works. I want clothes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yay! I am not naked. Goodness. My mom's making me dance. How many words can I say now? Three. 
Hi. <laughs> All right. Mother. Baby ranger. Let's go see if we have any bows for hunting. Let's see what we got. We got one bow and arrow, which is good. But we need, um, I think we need at least two for cows. It's been a while since I actually hunted animals. We'll just make three bows just to be on the safe side. I'm a cold baby. <laughs> and my mom's just making omelets. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, I got colder right there, so we'll go back here. I'm a little warmer right here, so we'll just stay by the fire. Or, you know, mom will just move me to a cold grass. <laughs> I want to be warm, mom. I'm just a baby one. <laughs> it's a little baby. I like my, I like my egg-alicious. Yeah. <laughs> Delicious right there. Do I have hair yet? Let's see. Nope, I am still bald. I'm still a bald baby. So you can't go hunting when you're a baby. You have to wait until you're a little bit older. Which makes sense. I mean, shouldn't give a baby a knife or a bow and arrow. <laughs> I don't think it would work well. Oh no, it should put me in baby prison. <laughs> I made my own. Oh, it's a play. Oh, you're right. It's a playpen. Jima said it was prison, but Jima's not here anymore. <laughs> Oh, nice toy. Oh, thanks. Hey, I'm old enough now. Yay. I'll say thank you. Thank you, Ma. I love you. Love you lots. Be free, baby. Okay. Remember to eat. I will. Thank you, Mom. So while we're waiting... Ooh, there's a bow right there. I mean an arrow. Come here. Give me that. I'm too, baby. <laughs> Well, I knew I was too baby, but maybe I just believed just hard enough I might be able to pick it up. All right, well, then I'll prep for another bow then. So we have two out of the three we need. So while my mom's collecting eggs, we will go collect a feather out of a goose if there's any left. Here we are. Hello, Sue Goosen. May I have your feather? Just tap on the goose and it will drop a feather. Let's get our book out. It says use goose feather. So, you can use goose feathers or turkey feathers in order to create a bow. Right now, I haven't killed no turkey. So, we're going to use this beautiful goose feather. Going to bring it up here. Eat some, eat some raspberries. So, if you highlight it, it will tell you to use a flint chip to make it into a fletching. That's what you need for an arrow. So, let's go find our flint chips. Nice. We're gonna go hit it. Yay! Highlight it again, and it tells you to um to take the fletching and combine it with a tide skewer. Right now, we don't have a tide skewer. We just have a a naked skewer. <laughs> You can get skewers from saplings, which I can show you up here real quick in case you don't know what those are, because I planted one. So if you go up here, you'll find them in the little grassy green biome. This is a domesticated one, but a wild one works too. Just hit it with a sharp stone or a flint. Well, flint will give you a, a seed, so just hit it with a sharp stone to cut it down for a skewer. And to get a seed, hit it with a knife or a flint chip to get, um, to plant more. And skewers are nice because you can use them for farming if you don't have hoes um, and you can't make any. They're really good too for cooking up rabbits and um, other things with the little stick. And making stick bread, which is a thing on this game, but I have not seen it on the PC. So I don't think stick bread is a thing on the PC version. <laughs> Only mobile version can you make some stick bread. I love you, Bobby. Let's... Let's, let's what, mom? Water bushes. Okay, while well, I'm too young to do anything else, I might as well do what my mom's telling me. I can't go hunting for animals yet. Let's make our arrow, though, if I can. Look, we did it, guys, and I can pick it up. Nice, but I can't pick up the bow and the arrow. I'm too baby. We can try, though. How old am I? 
I'm six. Can I be a hunter yet? No. Two, baby. <laughs> At least we made the bow. So we're getting there. So we're going to be watering our very thirsty <laughs> dried gooseberry plants. So in order to water them, you're going to take a bowl of soil. Put it onto the dry plant like so. This is the same on the PC version. So put the soil onto the plant. And then go get your water. Depending on um, how far uh, how far your village is, you might have a well. Uh, but we, we aren't too far in, so we don't have wells yet. And then just go here and water it. So now it will tell you that it's vigorous domestic goose. <laughs> Very bush. Basically, it's just telling you that it's not thirsty anymore. <laughs> and now you see how it's nice and light green? That means it's going to um, grow the gooseberries you need. While these ones are still dry. But very easy. And you'll be doing that on the PC one as well. Um, as you farm, you're going to want to keep putting soil and water onto your gooseberry plants in order to keep them from drying out. Because they will. Also, on this version though, I learned by playing for way too long on my public private server the domestic gooseberries if you don't take the berries off will dry out again which is a little silly should we show well well yeah i'm too young to go hunting so let's go show well so let's go dry out something we got plenty of rocks here do we have a bucket that'll dry out the well in no time i mean dry out the pond let's find one that looks like it's pretty empty this one's pretty empty Maybe I'll just water these carrots. Do we have a bucket, my mommy? <laughs> I'll say bucket. Bucket? Question mark? Yay! Alright, let's go dry out this, this pond over here then. Because wells, wells are the next step. So once you... uh have a lot of people on you're gonna notice that you're gonna dry out your ponds very quickly so you're gonna want to make sure that your forging makes you a shovel yay in order to make a well so now that you dried out your pond this game you do not find like a little pond little patch like you do on the pc one you just dry out a pond like this and you're gonna put the rocks on there instead of looking for a well area because PC one you're gonna look for a wet well area don't use you can't put rocks on a dry one and then the once you get that you can get your iron it's not like that on this game irons just kind of sitting out in the open and <laughs> your wells are made I'm gonna eat a carrot Damn. your wells are made with ponds so you can have like 40,000 ponds I mean wells on the phone version like we could turn that one into a well turn that one into a well turn that one into a well you'll be set for life but basically everything else is the same though you can upgrade the wells just like you can on the pc one all of that is very similar but this is the only difference is you put the rocks on the pond instead of finding a well space Yeah, you, you know, gathering rocks with the baskets so much smarter than what I was doing. <laughs> Thank you, my mommy. And now we just need to get a shovel. And we'll turn that into a well. And I should be old enough to start hunting, too. So this worked out for me. Let's use the broken shovel. Kapsplushki! There you go, guys. If you highlight it, it tells you you have a used shallow well. And you know that the well still has water because you see all the green moss on there. When there's moss, even on the PC version, that means there's still water. Once it turns into just completely gray, that means you emptied out your well and you're going to need to upgrade it again. And that's with using a bucket. But right now, that has so much water in it, it's not going to be used up for quite some time. 
because I can I can fill up this bucket and it's not gonna do much. But yeah, your moss will slowly dis um get smaller and smaller as you use it. See, like I'm I'm using so much of it and I filled the bucket and it's still deep. <laughs> so <laughs> that's gonna take some time. But yay! So it's very easy. But again, you gotta make sure you make all your um tools out of the forge before you can make wells and stuff. All right, mom. I don't have a book bag, but I'm gonna go hunting. Mom, mom. I might, I may need her help, may not. It all depends on how skilled I am. Typically, actually, hmm, egg empire. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> she really did make an empire. I'll say, mom, can you hunt? Rabbits for bag. I'm too little for bag. Thanks. I love my mom. She's so nice. Because uh, you can put arrows in your bag so you don't have to keep running to go to the animal and kill them. Open. I could bring a basket. Open Santa. Okay, maybe bag. <laughs> She's thinking too. So in this game, there's a winter event where Santa can be found in the snow biomes. It may be gone now, but it lasted for quite some time. We did grab presents from Santa. So these are the presents right here. You can get a, if you decorate a Christmas tree with like candles and like garland, um, Santa will put gifts underneath the tree, or you can find them out in the snow biomes but let's see let's see what santa got us santa got us <laughs> some shears for sheep santa got us a santa shirt well, at least now i'm warm and santa got me a hat <laughs> yay none of that's bags but at least we tried you know like forever right that's okay We'll just, if I have a basket, I guess I could bring a basket with me. Let's see. We did have a basket. More than one, I mean. Oh, there is my finger doing that thing again. Oh, mom used all the baskets for the carrots. I'll just eat this one. and I'm just going to put them on the ground so she doesn't notice. She'll never notice, guys. <laughs> all right. Let's put my arrows. Oh, no, I need a bag because I can't carry my bow in my basket. Well, that's fine. We gotta go. We'll go get the easy one first, then, which is the cow. Here we go. So to find a cow, you gotta go to what I call the rabbit biome. And they're usually there running around being cows. And I believe when I was Jima, I was running and I saw one. They're called bisons before they're cows. So let's go find my rabbit biome. I believe it was somewhere. Oh, here's a little one right here. I believe it was somewhere here. Where are you, Moo? There's a turkey, but we don't. I'm not going to kill turkey right now. Right now, we're going to domesticate animals. Oh, hi, Mom. <laughs> She's getting the rabbits for me. What a nice mom. Hmm. So far, I don't see my cow. Where are you, cowie? Aha! And it has a baby. So, if you highlight the cow, the bison, if you highlight the bison, it, well, if it lets me, basically, it'll tell you that it has a family. If it doesn't like this, do not kill it. Because you won't be able to get the baby, uh, you won't be able to get domesticate it. There we go, words. Unless it has a baby. So wait for it to have a baby. Follow it. They are scared of you, so they will keep running away. And I believe it takes a few arrows to kill the bison. So there's one arrow. Now we gotta go back and get another one. Ta la ta ta. Hopefully my mommy makes me my bag in time. <laughs> that way I don't have to keep running all the way back home. <laughs> oh, oh well. 
It works. My, I need exercise. I'm a young man. I need my exercise. Might as well grab my other arrow now. Might as well eat some yummy omelets that my, my nice mommy made me. Now I have two bonus. All right, let's go find my cow again. We know it's way over here. You gotta be careful with snakes. I can't hear my phone, so... Oh, that's a horse. Tricked me. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Where are you, Cowie? That's not... Wait, none of you are the cow I smacked. Where's the one that has the arrow in it? Let's see. Mosquitoes. Oh, there I go again. Ah, this one's slower, so this must be the cow right here. Let's get it out of the area near the jungle, because I can't see it well. There we go. Yeah, keep going, keep going. It has a baby, so whack it again. Pushki! Yay, we killed the cow. Very sad, but we had to do it. So now... As long as you keep the baby cow with the dead mom, it's not going to die. But the moment you grab it with the rope, it's going to start getting hungry. So make sure you have its food ready. And cows eat dry corn that's been crushed up. So earlier you saw Jima was crushing up all the, um, not crushing corn, but she was drying the corn. So that should be ready for us. So we're going to go get a bowl set up near the fence and put the baby cow there and feed it. Because like I said, the corn, the corn should definitely be ready. Let's grab these carrots so they don't seed. And then I'm going to eat one even though it's going to kill my, <laughs> kill my little bonus. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> Yay! So, in order to make cow food, take dry corn, put it in a bowl. Don't make it into popcorn. <laughs> Don't listen to the book. Go down here where it tells you to use plant on it. Because <laughs> you're going to turn it into corn kernels. And then you're going to come here. Whack it. Turn it into kernels. This is how you also feed um, your pigs, too. So cows and pigs will eat the kernel. And I like to put it inside my fence. So, take the shovel away. And now we need to make a rope to grab the little pig. I mean the cow. It could be a pig. If it wants to believe, it can be a pig. <laughs> now, I already made a lot of lassos. So, say if someone made a lasso and you don't have milkweed to make a rope. Just come up here. I believe you can use a flint. Flint or, yeah, use a flint on it. And it will turn it back into two ro um two ropes. And say you have enough and you want to make a lasso, put them together and make a lasso. But wanted to show you that just in case you were also on the PC version and you guys were desperately in need of ropes and you saw a lasso. But in order to make a rope, go over to your milkweed farm. Wait for the milkweed to be seeding. So right here is seeding. That way you can keep seeds. And on this version, you can put seeds on a signpost. You cannot do that on the PC one. On the PC one, you put seeds in a bowl. So there's a little bit difference there. Because you can't put seeds in a bowl on this one. You can put the seed, the bean seeds in a bowl. But you can't put like carrots and milkweed. Also, milkweed on this one, it doesn't turn into like little, little stakes or stacks of it. Or stalks, there we go. Just it right away turns into thread. Because on the phone one, you're going to need one, two, three, four milkweed just to turn into a rope. While this one, you just need two. So it takes a little more uh, work. That's why you want to make sure your milkweed farm is a little bigger on the PC version. Wow, mom, you did great. <laughs> she did awesome. I'm so proud. Oh, she looks like she went AFK, so I'm gonna make my bag myself. 
but like, <laughs> she's gone. She'll never know what it is. She's a, she's a pro at rabbit hunting, though. Look at that. Oh, there's someone talking. I'm so sorry. Someone says, why is your game coloring so different? Um, thank you, Eternal, for letting them know. Yeah, there is a mobile version, which is really, it's really neat. I'm sorry I can't see chat. My, uh, my phone sound's not working. Usually I have a little ding. You guys can't hear it, but usually I have a little ding that lets you know, um, lets me know you guys are talking so I can look at it. I just gotta be more aware to look up this time. But yeah, this is the phone version called You Are Hope. It's, it's a lot of fun. So say you want to take one hour, one life on the go with you. You can. <laughs> I have both the PC version and the phone version. But the phone version is slightly different. Not by much, but there is differences there. That's why I have little tutorials going on. I mean, this tutorial is pretty much the same as you would find on the PC, but some of it's been different. Yay, we got a bag. Woo. We did it, guys. Hunting's going to go great. Eternal says, same, I play one hour, one life in your home. As someone who is recently addicted to two hours, one life, and one hour, on one life, knowing there is a mobile version sound dangerous for me. <laughs> I play two hours, one life, too. Honestly, you might as well get the full experience and play all of them. Because each of them is unique. Like, they have similar things, but then they, like, branch out and they're their own thing. And I think that's really cool. Like I was saying to people earlier in chat, this one, you can literally tame a bear. Tame it in quotations. If it gets angry, it'll murder you. But if it's happy, you can use it to fish, murder animals for you. You can ride it. Um, so there's, there's that. And that's one of my favorite things. It's hard, though. You got to make sure you got honey. It's, it, that's a whole nother tutorial later on. I am not doing that today. Yeah, it's amazing. There's also a Santa event. That's why there's presents here. Where you can find Santa in the snow biome. Or if you make a Christmas tree, he will leave presents underneath for you. And you can get anything from like gold, iron, clothing as I have right now, animals. Santa's Sometimes Santa will gift a Santa and you open it up and all of a sudden Santa's there. It's, that's a little strange, but <laughs> I don't question the jolly old man. He's just giving me gifts. Alrighty, so I got my rope. We're gonna go get our cow now. I don't know where I put my bow and arrow. I think it's over here. <laughs> I don't remember. Sometimes my guy has short-term memory. He'll remember later on in the day, but right now he doesn't remember. But at least he's happy. <laughs> Alrighty, where's my dead cow? It's somewhere here. Moo! Where are you, Moo? Hmm. I could have sworn it was here. Oh no! I don't remember where I murdered my cow. Hey guys, there's Santa! Speaking of the jolly old man, he's still here, so the Christmas event's still going on. So basically, follow the old jolly man. He will say ho 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 and give you a present. Sometimes he'll give you like 7,000 presents. Sometimes he'll only give you one present. So we're gonna, we're gonna get our presents from Santa before we go, um... I can't hear him. Ho, 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 win though. <laughs> I don't... My sound's not working. Hi, Santa. I've been a good boy. I only murdered one animal in my life. Can I have a, uh... Can I have a present? Did he give me one? No. <laughs> Santa, stop hiding. I can't see you because I can't hear. Santa. Santa, for Christmas, can I have a, um, can I have a doggo? <laughs> doggo, please. Santa. S sir. Man, oh, is this my doggo? Wait, Santa, I can't get you. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, wow, he's giving me so many gifts right now. Santa really loves me. <laughs> He did just say hello oh, again, thank you. Yeah, my sound's not working, so... I gotta go by your guys' words, or hopefully he doesn't hide behind a tree. Santa's running, he thinks... He doesn't appreciate me. Santa! 
Wait. Can I have a gift? I know you already gave me two, but I'm a very needy child. Oh. Oh, man. He's just gifting me away. I can't put any more in my bag. Mom! Mom, I need you! <laughs> Mom, Santa's giving too many gifts. <laughs> He's being super jolly today. <sighs> Wait, Santa! Oh, yay! Oh, man, he's not... <laughs> he won't stop! Oh, jeez! Santa, please! <laughs> I, I appreciate your kindness, sir, but now, now we're getting too many kids. I know I've been a very good boy. Santa, is one of these going to be my doggo, or you just you can't remember, so you're going to give me a whole bunch of stuff until one's my doggo? I appreciate it. Wait, Santa, is this my doggo? Oh my gosh. I think this is the most gifts I've ever gotten from Santa. I am just, I'm so honored right now. But I'm gonna starve. <laughs> Santa, oh my gosh. <laughs> Sir, why? why? Oh man. <laughs> it's never ending, friends. I, man, I should have brought my cart with me. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's Christmas. <laughs> I have presents all over. Oh, I have a carrot seed in here. We don't need that. All right. Um, I know I'm supposed to go after my dead cow, but, you know, presents are more important than bringing a cow home. Mom! Mom, I have gifts from Santa. Mom? Mom? Nah, she'll see it. I'll put it right here for her. She's gonna be so proud. Be like, wow, son, you've been such a good boy. Be like, yeah. <laughs> I should eat some of the omelets my mom made. And I'm gonna go grab my cart now. I should still have a cart, unless it died. Uh, my cart rotted away. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, your cards break down over time. I believe that happens in the PC one too, so. Alrighty, might as well go grab my gifts. They're all scattered all over the winter snow biome. Here's one. Here's two. Here's three. That should be all of them? Oh, no, just kidding. Oh man, Santa. Okay. Okay, that should be all of them. <laughs> in two hours, one life, you can store your carts on stone blocks and they don't degrade. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, this one, that does not happen. They just die. Unless you put them on a horse, but that's the same on all of them. They don't degrade on the horse. You know, I never tried to put the wire, um, the rubber tires, though, on the cards. That might keep them alive. Didn't think about that yet. Look, Mom! Santa! I'll say, for you. Alright, let's count how many Merry Holidays. <laughs> let's count how many, uh, presents Santa gave me. So, one Santa gave me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine presents. I, that's the most gifts he's ever given me. Usually it's like two, or I'm like really happy if I get three. But I got nine. I'll say, you can have five. I'll let my mom have five of them. Fiver. Whatever, you're gonna have fiver. <laughs> oh, thanks, mom. I'm gonna open up down, two, three, four. Fiver, my face. <laughs> Oh, that's good, Mom. <laughs> I'm gonna let her open up the rest now. One, two, three, four. I count. Five. Wow, Mom got a torch. What did I get? A Santa hat! Yay! <laughs> Let's see what else I get. Candles for a Christmas tree! A whacker? <laughs> My mom is slightly violent. 
A bomb! I always wanted explosive, Santa! <laughs> Mom's giving me shoes. She got, wow, she got a bear shoe and just a boot. I'm gonna take her shoes. Ooh, nice. We got an ingot. What's my last gift? Oh, I <sighs> dice. Look at that, guys. I could gamble my life away. Wow, Santa. A hat. Ex he got us everything to explode this bomb for the mines. <laughs> that Santa was very explosive. <laughs> Yay. Alrighty, let's find my rope. <laughs> we gotta go back to our tutorial. Santa was just a... He was just a bonus, you know? And my person has all the clothes now. So you see how my... If I take my boot off, if you look over in the left upper hand corner you'll see this little thermometer the blue means i'm super cold but once i put my boot on i got just a little bit warmer <laughs> hooray i'm not cold anymore okay let's go find my robe here it is oh okay going back to go get that dead cow mom or the child love you <laughs> What a good mom. I hope she didn't want to wear those boots because I kind of just took them. I feel bad. She didn't say anything, though. Alrighty, cowies, where are you? I know I killed it somewhere. Well, if we find the jungle, we'll find the cow because I took it. I killed it a little away from the jungle biome. So let's go find the jungle, which is somewhere. Oh, is that it? No, that's that's not it. Away we go. Oh, here it is. Oops. So I was somewhere down here. Because I was like, get out of the trees, cowie. Oh, there goes my finger. <laughs> well, that cow's not dead. So that's not the cow we're looking for. Here he is. Nice. Okay, we'll take our arrows back. And unfortunately, on unlike the PC one, which I wish it was a thing. On the PC one, you can attach your bow onto your bag. You can't do that on this game. So you have to come all the way back and grab it. But we're going to grab our cow. And we're going to run as fast as we can to get it into the fence. Go, me, go! So this is part one of domesticating a cow. Because what we're doing right now is getting a domesticated bison. And once the bison grows up, it will start giving birth to cows. So this is step one. So first, kill a wild bison. Yoink the baby bison. Uh, feed baby bison. And then feed cow. Boink. Okay. So now you just play the game of waiting until it's hungry. So you can only feed the cow once its head goes down. Because right now it's it's full belly. <laughs> but once it starts getting hungry, that's when you want to feed it. So you might sit here for a little bit. It'll also start making a noise. But again, I can't hear the noise. But you'll you guys will hear it. Come here, little cowie. There it goes. Head down. Heads up. Now it's a nice, see if you use your book, it says use fed bison calf. So now that's going to grow up and become a beautiful grown up. <laughs> so once again, we're going to make some more feed because once it starts having babies, we're going to want to feed it to finally get the cow. And we're going to go get some more dried corn while we're at it. My mom murdered a lot of the pigs, but we did find one as Jima. So, <laughs> well, boars are a little harder because they're a lot more violent. But we're going to have to, <laughs> we're going to hope luck is on our side. Eat some raspberries. Let's put this raspberry, put this raspberry in there. Put it in there. Okay, I guess all my bowls are full. I just want to take the bowl with me. Because I want to have more than one bowl. Hello. Look at how big you got so far. <laughs> now, I could sit here and wait for it to have a baby cow. But 
thing is it has to like the baby cow has to walk away from its mother slash father <laughs> they're both at this point they're both which could take a little while but i i think i'll wait for the purposes of tutorial so if you look now it has a little cow <laughs> Now we have to wait for baby cow to leave the mommy slash daddy bison and then we will feed it. And then at this point you can um once you get the cow fed you can kill the bison if you want because then your cow will start having cows. I like to keep them though just because I like to pretend that's the male. <laughs> Same thing, you have to wait for the cow to become hungry to feed it. Again, its head will go down and it will make noise, but I have to just go by the head cue because my sound doesn't work. I know you guys can hear it, which is good. Hungry cow. <laughs> oh, we have a sad cow. Boom. Now it's going to keep producing babies. But I'm not going to keep feeding them because now I'm going to go get the other animals I need. So, you successfully learn how to capture and make domesticated cows. Once the cows grow up, you can start getting milk from them and do all that. But we will either do that later or for a different tutorial. It all depends on how long it takes me to get pigs. <laughs> There's baby pigs there. I could just cheat, but I'm not cheating. Oh, there. I laughed and my phone went, what? Are you laughing? How dare you? How dare you show happiness? Okay. I'm going to dry out some more corn because we need, we need corn. Bring this corn with me. How old am I? I'm 38. That means my mom died. Mom! I didn't even see her. I, will, I miss my mom. I'm so sad. <laughs> I didn't even get to say goodbye. Okay. I feel I always feel bad when like animals are Oh my mom's still alive! She must have had me super young. She's a god. <laughs> She's a <laughs> Yay! I'm a ghost. <laughs> oh. If you highlight other characters, you can see how old they are. My mom's 54! Okay, she's not she's not dead yet, which is good. I, I, I was getting very sad for a second there. Okay. Let us go grab our bow, which is way over on the other side, unfortunately. Make sure we keep a rope with me. Take the dead cow out of here. Don't worry, guys, it's only sleeping. My mom is old. So my mom has um, a lily in her hand. So basically in this version, if you want to respawn to a town that you really like, find a lily in the jungle and put it on a home marker like that and it'll go ding just like a, a bell would. So now my mom, when she dies, can be reborn as an Eve here or a baby. Now the lily can be random if you don't survive till 60. You will not be reborn right away. You're going to have to wait till you're 60. And you can go like two lives until you're reborn to your village. So don't think that you won't. You will. It just... If you don't last your whole life when you put your marker down, it's just going to take it a little longer. While if... Oh my gosh, there I go again. <laughs> it's hard to play sideways. Because usually I play with the, the phone looking like this. Um, but when I stream, it makes it really, really small. So I have to turn it like this and it just a little bit harder to move around. <laughs> That's why I'm having a little more complications with certain things. But just, I mean, you can play in any mode you want, but I personally prefer vertical. But we have to play it in horizontal. Alrighty, let's go get my bow. But yeah, home markers are really nice because you can respond and as long as you um, live till 60 or continue to put more lilies down. It, there's two different ways you can do it. You'll always go back. 
see now. But if you die young, just don't be discouraged, as I was saying. You you will return to your lily. It just takes a little longer. Why I don't keep put you in my bag? What I got a flint in here? I do. Get out of there. Okay, so somewhere here my bow will be here. Right. Or is it a little farther? No, because this is the end right here. Oh, I went too south. No, Fingy! <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> you know what? Tapping the screen, I don't have problems. So I gotta stop not tapping it. It works better if I tap. Tap, 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 tap. <laughs> All right, so here's the jungle again. This is how we're going to find our bow. So, cow was stuck in the trees. Somewhere up here. Aha! There's the bow, guys. And if I... um, If I... Ooh! If I skin the bison... Actually, can I skin the bison? I think I can. Maybe not. Certain animals, you can get food off of them. Others, you can't. I can't remember if bisons are... As I said, I'm not I'm not usually the hunter because <laughs> I usually die. But I, I do know how to at least domesticate. But when it comes to food wise, I know pigs do and sheep do, but I don't know about bison, so we're not gonna say anything until I learn off screen. My mom is old. Alright, we're gonna eat a piece of bread. We're gonna put a bow. All right, mom. I'm gonna go try to get a pig. This may either be the death of me, or it may not be the death. Now, what's bad about pigs? Okay, so just like the bison, you have to domesticate a baby pig, let it grow a baby boar. I meant let the boar grow up in order to get pigs. Problem is. Domesticated boars are more violent than non-domesticated boars. So, like, if you find a boar in the jungle, it's not going to come after you. Like, it will kill you if you run into it, but it's not going to purposely charge after you. Domesticated boars, on the other hand, they're just angry and they want to murder you no matter where you go. So, let that be a warning. Like, <laughs> be careful. All right, we, I saw a boar up here, so we have to be careful because if I run into it, I'm dead. So we're gonna go slow. We have to look slow. Because the thing is, is I can't hear the pitter patters like you guys can. There it is, and it has a baby. So let's, ah, oh, I lost the baby. <laughs> now we have to wait for it to have a kid. I don't want to get too close to it. This may not work in my favor. <laughs> Come here, piggy, 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 piggy. So when it has a kid, it does run a lot slower, which is good. But we have to wait till that happens. Come on, piggy. Don't go in the trees, please. Aha! There's a baby! Kill me! Yay, so pigs only take one. So now we're going to run with this baby. <gasps> oh! <laughs> now we're going to run. Actually, I don't think I need a rope for a pig. I think I just pick it up. Okay. Run! Run with little baby! So these guys could also get hungry and die, so it's all timed. Everything is timed. But it's going to become a very angry baby soon. Go, little angry baby. So many. My mom's dead in the fence. Sad. All right, come here, you little fast baby. Come here, baby. I don't want to feed a cow by accident. So. We're going to wait until it looks like it's hungry then. If it wants to be. Once again, wait till it looks hungry. This is hard because it's so tiny. I can't see very well. 
<laughs> there it is. There. Now I gotta get out of here. <laughs> oh, Bob. Why are you dead in here? Actually, that might be my favorite. Eternal's dancing. Now, while the pigs grow, while the boar, I should say, is growing up, let us get our bow. Because by the time we come back, it's probably going to be incredibly violent. And this is usually where I start dying. <laughs> is when I try to get the domesticated pig from the wild domesticated boar. I was way up here. Hello. Now, if you highlight... Okay, yeah, so... The book tells you what animals give you food. So, if you highlight the boar, it tells you you could get food from it. I like that everything in the book shows you a happy grizzly big bear with the pig bones. So, that bear is going to do a lot of things for you. Apparently. <laughs> Maybe even clean up the bones. Oh, I ran into skeeters and I didn't even see them. When did I run into mosquitoes? Way up there. Well, we'll be okay, guys. I have food slowed down on my private server, so I won't die from mosquitoes. I'll get very hungry, but I'm not going to die. Now we just wait. While the mosquitoes are right there in our way. Get out of there, mosquitoes. I'll die if I hit you again. It's okay. The more time I take, the better. <laughs> the more time I can stall. No, it went right back there. Get out of there, mosquitoes. Shoo. Shoo. I'm hungry and I want my bow. <sighs> you gotta get back home. Get some omelets that my mom made before she died. I know, I'm hungry. Okay. Hurry! Eat this rabbit. It's the closest thing. And then we'll eat an omelet. Okay. I don't think the boar grew up yet. So that's not a bad thing. Never mind, it's grown up. So now, if I was to walk in there, that boar would be charging after me because it's mean and doesn't like me for some reason. And it wants my blood. But we have to go in there anyways because for that purpose right there. So while it has the baby, look at it. It is purposely following me. Oh, oh I picked up a dead frog. Oh, this isn't going well. Hurry, hurry before it comes after me. Murder. Oh, phew. So yeah, so that's how you domesticate your pig. <laughs> I, I'm a professional. I did it well, we'll see. Yeah. Now that you have a bunch of dead bodies all around you, including your mother who died in the pen, you just clean them out. I'm gonna go get some more corn. Excuse me. We'll dry one more out. We should be fine though, but. So that's besides wolves. Those were the, the pigs are the violent ones out of the basic animals at least. <laughs> but once you can do them, wolves will be a little easy because they'll, they'll charge at you and they'll be kind of similar in the sense where they want to take your blood. All right, let's mush this up now that there's no danger. And we're going to feed the baby pig. Once I... No. Once I find my flint. Again, I said it earlier. Usually I have my animals separated in different fences. Pigs go with pigs, cows with cows. But for tutorial purposes, they're all just going to chill in the same place. So, let's get some of these dead cows out of here. So that way I can grab the baby pig and have it start running around. Alright, baby pig. So, once your pig looks like a pig and it's not a boar, 
You don't have to worry about it being evil because they won't go after you. And then you could just cook. You could cook it, I said. I mean, no, not cook it. Uh, it's totally just your friend. Once again, you have to wait till it gets hungry, though. So wait for its little head to go down and it starts making little hungry noises. And try not to feed all the animals around you. <laughs> all right, its head's down. Is it right there in front of me? Yep, there we go. So now it should grow up to become a beautiful big old piggy. And how old am I? 51. I'm old. <laughs> but we're doing good, though. So there's only one more animal that I have to go and get for you guys. And that is a sheep. And unlike, unlike the boars, they're similar to the cows in the sense that they don't want to murder you. They just kind of want to run away. So you don't have to stress too much about them. I'm going to put my baskets back so they don't de um, decompose on me. So for sheep food, though, before we go hunting, you're going to need a carrot. And you're also going to need berries, a bowl of berries. So you're going to come up here, find an empty bowl, highlight your bush like this. Phone PC version, you can't do that with a bowl. I tried. It doesn't work. It only works on this version. <laughs> so get a whole bowl of berries. And then take your carrot. You can use wild or domesticated carrots for it. Put it in your bowl. And you have right here uh, gooseberry and carrot. This is what sheeps eat. So you put it up here. Just get it all ready. And now we're going to go hunting once again. Sheeps can be found in the same biome as the cows. So you can find them in the rabbit biome, I believe. <laughs> I don't think I'm... Or is it the desert biome? Oh no, I don't remember now. It's been a while. Well, wherever we find a lamb, then I'll... <laughs> or is it the... Oh, wait a minute. Nope, I remember. It's the bear biome. So sheep can be found in the bear biome. <laughs> My guy's getting super old, but bear biome is the other way. They're called, I believe they're lambs before you domesticate them, so. Or they're goats. I'm not sure what they call them. I'm gonna eat a piece of bread, though. Alright, let's go find this bear biome. La, 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 la. I know there was one south. But I'm not sure how far away. I may become a pruny old man before I find it. It's in the wolf biome? Yeah. I call it the bear biome. My brain remembered after. There we go. So let us find our beautiful sheep, lamb, goat, whatever it is that in the wild. Come here, little lamby lamb. So this, this biome will also have the wolves and it'll also have the bears. It makes sense the sheep are here because, you know, in real life, um, wolves would probably be hunting them. So it makes sense while they would be stacked together in the game like this. Hmm. No, I'm not seeing any. Oh, there's a wolf, but we're not domesticating dogs in this tutorial. Oh no, I'm shriveled. Hurry. So here's our sheep. Now we have to wait for it to have a baby. What is it called? A mouflon. Hmm. <laughs> well, maybe that's just a fancy word for sheep. <laughs> I'm going to look that up. It's probably, it probably is. Or oh, it's just a ram. Another word for ram. Either way, we'll just call it the beautiful goat. Goat sheep. <laughs> wait for the baby, though. I hope I brought rope with me. How old am I? 55! Alright, I got time. Hopefully. <laughs> Come on, Cheapy. Have a child. We need you to have a child. <laughs> Please. I'm old and shriveled and I really want to bring a sheep home. Have a child. <laughs> if I don't look at you, will you poop one? Okay, thank you. Wait, come back. Come back. 
Why I can't murder you? There we go. Okay. We did it. I didn't bring a rope with me. Not the fear, guys. There's no fear. <laughs> Maybe I could use a flint and kill my bow and use the rope on there. Let's see. I might, I might be wrong, but if I'm right, that'd be awesome. Let's see. Yay! So if you're in a pickle like that, Flint is really good about taking things apart. Like bows, like your fire drill bows, and I guess your bow bow. Now we're gonna run. We got a ways to go, little sheep. And I'm really shriveled, so I'm really hoping I can make it back there with you. <sighs> oh. We got this. I believe. <laughs> Yay. You know what? We're gonna... Maybe I can feed you out here. Yeah, okay. So unlike the other animals, you could literally feed the sheep whenever. <gasps> but if you feed it, you can't put it on a rope. What? Well, you learn new things every day. <laughs> As I said. So note to self, guys. Don't feed your sheep until you put it in the fence. Because as I just learned, apparently your rope doesn't work when you feed it. <laughs> wait. Wait. You, Grandpa's just confused. <laughs> Why? Why you not go into your fence? <laughs> no. Don't be a grown-up. Bad, bad sheep. Well, this... <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Oh, well, maybe I have some time to, to grab a baby from it before it runs away from me. You know, we're learning things. I'm learning things every day. <laughs> oh, sheepy. Can you have a child? Oh, but I have to murder. No, you'll poop it off. Never mind. I need your child. I'm only 58. Take your time. <laughs> it loves me. Yeah. Oh, wait. No. Will it work? It may. I might be able to lead it into the fence. Let's see. Follow me, sheep. To the fence. I don't think it can walk through this diagonal, though. Maybe, though. You got this. Nope. Well, it was worth a try. <laughs> May I have your child? May I have your child? Where are you? I dropped my rope. Things aren't working in my favor today. Oh, here's one. Okay. Grab it, old man. Before you die. Grab the child. Did we grab him? I can't even see him. Hurry, I'm old. Go into the fence. Go into the fence. Alright, we'll grab grab the food. Grab the food. Hurry. Yay! I can die in peace. <laughs> so remember guys, when domesticating your sheep, make sure you put them in the fence as well. Because if you don't have a gate... You can't get your sheep back in there. So I'm going to die 60. There we go. But I have to be reborn again. And make sure that we can get a domesticated sheep. If it's not already one, it may be. So see how it says you have been reborn near your preferred rebirth location? That's because I lilied. And because I lilied and I lived till 60, I'm going to be reborn right next to my uh, home. And it happens in the private servers as well. As long as you lily on the home marker, you'll be able to go back. I'm back. How is how is everyone? Hi. Hi, fam. <laughs> Hello. Oh, it already turned into a sheep. So yeah, just like all the animals, the second phase is when you get the domesticated animals you need. So first first thing we'll do a recap kill the wild animal bring the baby home domesticate 
the oh. baby and it will turn into a domesticated wild mm. version or a domesticated version of the oh. wild self then feed mm. that version's baby and you'll get the animals you need like pigs cows and sheep the same goes for wolves but we're not going to do wolves right now because, again, there's a lot of dog breeds. <laughs> a lot of dog breeds. on. So we'll do that in a different stream to get every single breed. I pooed a baby. Hello, baby. I'll say, hello, BB. And if you can't tell the gender, because obviously <laughs> there's no uh, no parts in this one. So highlight your character, especially if you're not used to it. Baby, stand still for a second. Highlight the character. And if you go up there, it says nameless zero year old son. You go, okay, that's a son. I haven't named myself yet. So we're going to be called. Oh, whatever. We're going to call whatever the phone first wants to say would be a baby and then our first name is going to start with an f f e baby feel <laughs> i am feel baby oh no <laughs> no that's not what i wanted <laughs> gosh well that's a name oh <laughs> uh, i guess my child i just let my phone make the name <laughs> no you're okay i swear i guess <laughs> I didn't know I was going to do that. <laughs> Sorry, John. <laughs> oh, hold a message for reason swearing. <laughs> wow. Okay, I need to watch chat. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> no, we blocked it off with other friends. Uh, and oh, I could do horse. You're right. Uh, well, why do I have a really horrible name? <laughs> Um, don't worry, child. Your name will be whatever the phone wants to name you, too, at this point. We're gonna start with a, um, an S. An S and a, uh, A. Your name's gonna be Same. There you go. You are Same. <laughs> well, this is an awkward. Love you, baby. This child is probably, is probably traumatized. No. <laughs> you can't, you can't run from me, child. <laughs> I must feel the baby. Where'd it go? Oh, I'm lagging. Feel the baby. <laughs> oh no, it's lagging. Oh man. Child, I must feel you. It's, it's our, it's our family tradition. It's family tradition. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Poor child. Alright. <laughs> Unlike the PC version, so on the PC one, you can slash die, and you will die from that fam. On this version, the only way you can escape a family and die is you have to run away. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. No, I'm gonna let you be, Santa. You're the, you're the dude. Here you go, my son. He's beating me up. What a jerk. But yeah, I, what a good idea. So I should show you guys horses. I'm also gonna try to look at chat. Sorry, guys. I don't have the pinging happen, so... I'm gonna keep looking. I'm gonna be more... <laughs> more willing to look. Wow. My child just threw the... Oh, thank you, baby. <laughs> I thought he threw his pants off. But I wasn't looking up for a second. Okay. Thanks, child. He's gonna be baby Santa. And we're going to ignore my name for a second. But yeah, when you're also an Eve on this game, you can call yourself your first name, whatever. You don't have to. You're not stuck as Eve. Because in PC one, if you're born an Eve, it right away calls you Eve. You can call yourself Eve. I do that sometimes, but you don't have to. So now we got to get us a horse. So before we get a horse, we're going to prep a cart. 
So to get a cart, say I haven't chopped down thousands of woods, because I did. Go up here, go chop down a go chop down a tree. Um on the PC one, if you oh like let me get my book out. On the PC one, if you um chop down pine trees, it won't oh poop for you. Oh thanks. <laughs> I love it. My first gift. <laughs> Poop is good for compost, so my sheep must have grew up and pooped. <laughs> On the PC one, if you chop down pine trees, you don't lose food health. On this version, you can chop down all your trees and you won't lose any health at all, so you don't have to worry about it. But PC one, make sure you chop down that because it will take a lot of food. Holidays. <laughs> I, since I'm not playing the phone, uh, PC version, we're going to chop down this tree. Ooh, nice. Good, good. So now we got some firewood. We'll put it right here. One, two. And on like the PC one, two, the phone version gives you straight sticks when you cut down trees. PC version will not give you straight sticks. So we need what we call... The butt log, literally called butt logs. <laughs> so we need the butt in order to make the cart. I'll say, got a butt. <laughs> Making box? No, cart. Making cart. For horse. For horse. Yay. Alrighty. So you need these beautiful butts in order to make a cart. You can also make a box, just like the baby was asking. And the boxes are good for organizing your um, areas, like putting things away. But we're not doing that yet. We're just going to make a cart. So to make a cart, make sure you have all your forge stuff done. You're going to need this beautiful steel fro. You're gonna throw it on here and then you're gonna take your mallet that I had a long time ago, so it's probably way up near the farm still. Child, where's my mallet? <laughs> I'll make a new one. So in order to make a mallet, take your butt log and hit it with this beautiful thing, I believe. Yeah, and it'll turn into a mallet. So if you never have, if you need a mallet, just remember that. You turned my mallet into a spoon. <laughs> That's okay. I'll just make sure they think they're okay. But secretly, I'll whack them. No, I'm not. I won't be a violent parent this time. <laughs> All right. So now that we got our mallet, you just whack this bushki, and it will turn into. I believe it's called boards. Yeah. I didn't just look because I forgot its name. <laughs> so bring the boards up here away from everyone and now you're going to want to get a rope that's why i always say to people make sure you have a big milkweed farm because milkweed look at my child already made a box <laughs> he's making his own car oh you want to you're a step ahead of me so i'll let the child make it so once you uh once you get a box no child i need the show you're too far ahead too far ahead <laughs> so once you make the boards go and get some rope i'm sorry baby ranger you you made it before you showed rope but i like your box so you don't have you can make boxes like this and they won't wither away i pref i like putting the little um the little like what to call it the handle on there because then you can move it if you just leave it as a box with no handle you can't so it's not as pretty but it works but now we got to make our box so go up here take your rope and smack it on the board so now see i can't grab this and it gets in the way like your your character can't even walk over the box so i need to go eat because i'm starving Blah, 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 blah. Good thing my Jima made all that. Now we're going to go get a straight stick. And we're going to turn it into a 
Um, or we'll just grab one. Nah, we'll turn it. Grab a straight stick, turn it into a long shaft, and go over to your box. And now you're gonna whack it on there. Booshki. So now you have a wooden sledge, I believe it's called. So next, we gotta make wheels. So in order to make wheels, you gotta get yet another butt log, like so. But now you're going to need the saw right here. So grab your saw and hit your butt log and it's going to turn into wooden disc. And you're gonna need two of them to make wheels. So grab two. Yep, good job, baby. This is gonna be baby's cart. I'm gonna bring your cart up to mine, okay? Push. Drop it. Lady, drop it. Drop it. There we go. Just, just a little lag on my end. So now, what we need to do is make a fire bow drill with flint added to it. So in order to make a fire bow, a flinted bow drill, we'll call it, you need a curved shaft, which is found by a curved branch. And you'll find curved branches right here on the Lombardi tree, so I'll highlight it so you see. Then you're gonna whack this with a sharp stick or sharp rock, sharp stone, whatever it's called. I don't know, I, well, where's my sharp stone? It's probably way up here. I think I did see one up here. Boop, 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 boop. Here's one. Put that in my pocket. Might as well bring this with us too. I know my baby has one over here, but Whoosh. I put it in my pocket. <laughs> here, let's put our tires in there for now. So you're gonna whack your curved branch like this, and it'll look just like baby rangers. So you get a curved shaft. Now you're going to want to put rope on it, and it will turn into a used bow drill. So I'm gonna rope both of them, because we're gonna have one fire bow drill, and then we're gonna have one flinted bow drill. So to finish your bow drills, we already have one short stat shaft there. So once again, grab a straight stick, but I'm gonna grab a long shaft. And you're gonna wanna hit it with, oh, there's a whole bunch right here. You're gonna wanna hit it to turn it into a short shaft. Now combine it like this. And this one is now the fire bow drill. This is how you start fire. But in order to make it into a flinted bow drill, grab your sharp stone hit a piece of flint and it will turn into a flint arrowhead the flint arrowheads are also what you use to make a um to make an arrow i don't think i ever finished making an arrow i'm sorry guys <laughs> i did show it in the last um tutorial you can find on youtube though but i could show you if anyone wants me to show but hit your flint to make it into a flint arrowhead and then put it onto the fire bow drill and now see how it says use flint tip bow drill this is what you're gonna use to make your tires so grab your disc whack it with this and it'll turn into a wheel or a wooden disc with holes i just call them the wheels because technically they are the wheels so now you're gonna put it on here you're gonna put this one here and now you have a basic cart in the future, you can turn it into a rubber tired cart and it can hold a lot more stuff. But we're not going to get into rubber yet because that's a little more advanced for basic things. So this cart can hold about four things. We're going to do the same for this one. <laughs> Put the wheels on. Now we got two carts. So we need a cart in order to get a horse because it's gonna be the um, the drawn cart in the back. But before we can get that, before we could get a horse, this is like prep step one, we gotta make a, what, what do we call that thing? <laughs> I don't remember. The thing you can sit the, on the horse for. <laughs> you need the, my brain's not working. You need the seat. Until my brain wants to remember what it's called. <laughs> hmm. It'll come back to me eventually. In order to get what I'm trying to say, you go find your shears. We gotta go trim up the horse. Oh, 
actually, do I trim it or do I murder it? I don't remember. Let me see. Grab. Saddle! There we go. That's exactly what I was saying in my brain. Thank you. Ah, uh, so what we need to do is we need to kill our domesticated sheep. I wasn't sure if we trimmed it or killed it, so... I'm gonna have to make sure we have another baby sheep. So, once again, let's go grab some food. I think I saw a carrot up here. Baby, don't eat that carrot! I need... I need... <laughs> I can clip it? No, it says I have to murder it. Why would you eat that?! No! No! Bad! Bad! Grounded! Baby! Unless we have more. Now you gotta go water some. <laughs> Why would you eat my only carrot? That child. <laughs> he's, a, he's in for a, a butt whooping. Okay. Unless I have some carrots somewhere else. Unless he made food. We'll go see. Let's see if he was a good baby and made more sheep for me. Oh. Bad child! <laughs> oh, now I have to go water and wait for the carrot. Died, baby. I can bring the horse here. So it's not, it's not like I can't do anything, but it killed my one step I wanted to do. So we'll get this prepped. For the sheep. <laughs> Sorry, Ma. No, you grounded. <laughs> you grounded. I hungry. There was plenty of pie. Bad. <laughs> there was raspberries. There was corn. But no, you had to eat the one carrot. Bad child. Get out of the way. I shun you. <laughs> well, it's not impossible. We'll go do the other step. So while we wait for our carrots, we're going to go grab the horse. So you can find the horses in the desert biome. On the PC, you have to rely on the southernmost family in order to get the horses because they're the only ones who can travel in the desert. But on this version, on the phone, you can travel in the desert yourself. Like, you can go in all biomes, as I mentioned before. So there's no problems there. I just gotta find a desert. I know there was one. Hmm. Maybe it's more north. Because I remember seeing a horse and said, I'm gonna take you later. Let's see. Oh, here's a desert. So I have to be careful of snakes. Oh, that's a small desert. That was a sad excuse for a desert. I'm gonna go eat this banana though. Hopefully the mosquitoes don't attack me. <gasps> so many mosquitoes. I'm gonna take this. There's probably a desert south, so we're gonna keep traveling till we find a big desert because that one was just too sad and small. Let's see, cause um, we gotta make another sheep so we can make a saddle. So we can sit on the horse. <laughs> hmm, ah, desert. Oh, it's another small desert. Man, I, I didn't make base next to a good location if I can't find a desert. <laughs> well, I have everything else except a desert, I guess, close by. Desert. Oh, desert. If I call out like this, maybe a little pop up. Hmm. Oh, well, there's where Grandpa died. Yeah, wasn't I Grandpa when I found the horse? So it has to be close. I just need to believe. And in... well, I'm back at the back at the farm. Oh, really? I guess I did set up in a good location. So here's my desert right next to my base. <laughs> but is there a horse here? Yay! So in order to get a horse, let me get the book. You have to make sure you have a lasso. You can't use rope. In order to make a lasso, you have to combine two ropes together. So now you got to chase your horse down, grab it, 
and then bring it back home with you. It's gonna be a very angry horse until you feed it a carrot, but we don't have carrot. <laughs> Cause child <laughs> decided to eat my carrots. So now put the horse, you have to put the horse on the fence. If you don't put it on a fence, it's gonna run away. Even when you put it on a cart or calm it down. Right now it's gonna have to stay angry though. <laughs> Poor horse. Also, you can put a carrot crown on the horse, which is kind of cute, but we don't have crowns right now. Okay. Now we're gonna come down here and I guess we're gonna watch carrots grow. <laughs> oh, what did I just do? Uh oh, I lost chat. Hold on, guys. I gotta bring you back somehow. No wonder I can't see when you guys are typing. There was no chat to look at. There we go. I got chat up now. <laughs> okay, so carrots are still way too small. So let's go look and see where my child... My child went somewhere with their cart. So they're off doing something. See, do I have a berry bowl already? Oh, they found Santa. I forgive them now. <laughs> All right. Get this dead pig out of here. Get this dead sheep. Yay. I found dad. How'd you know Santa was your father? <laughs> Where'd they go? Let's see. I'll talk to my son. Was was he done getting the milk? <laughs> was he done getting the milk? <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, maybe someday. <laughs> One day, father will be done getting his milk. I know, angry horse. I know. Ah, here we go. So in order to calm down the horse, grab a carrot and just shove it in its mouth like this. Calm yourself, child. Ta-da! <laughs> and now we're going to grab another carrot and we got to put it in a full bowl of berries like this so we can feed a baby sheep in order to murder a sheep. I got to make another bow, though, because I killed it as grandpa for in desperation feed baby feed baby there we go in order to make a bow very easy just go over here grab a u branch like this bring it with you and hit it with a sharp stone Boink. And then you're going to take a rope. I got to go a little closer to my farm. Where's all my milkweed? Diminishing is what he's doing. Take a rope. And combine it. And there you go. You got yourself a bow. Very easy. And to kill a sheep, you just need one arrow. And I believe there's one near the farm. So we shall go back up there. There it is. And now we just gonna kill the sheep. Okay. Just making sure my chat was staying on. Okay. Sorry, sheepy. Spooshki. Spooshki. Oh. Oh! <laughs> you saw nothing, guys. Apparently. Apparently domesticated sheep, you just stabbed them with a knife. That makes sense, because a lot of griefers on the PC go with knives in there. Well, I mean, the wild ancestor, she stabbed it with an arrow. So maybe I just wanted to believe I could stab it with an arrow. <laughs> just kidding. What you have to do to kill a sheep is grab a knife. <laughs> and now you come up here and you go, Bushki. Oh, there you go. You saw nothing, guys. <laughs> So now that your sheep is dead, and I totally knew I, I had to use a knife, 
grab the wool that you need, leave the dead body there to traumatize your animals, and bring it down here. <laughs> and now you're going to want to take um, a needle and thread right here. Beautiful. And do this. And you got yourself a saddle. So now you're going to place that saddle onto your horse. Like so. And now you can ride your horse. But here's the thing. You, it, you need a cart in order to carry stuff with you. Like, horses are great for traveling fast, but more beneficial to be um, traveling fast with a cart. So, the only way you can put a cart on a horse, you gotta make sure it's tied up to a fence. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. So, grab your cart and go over here and combine it. And there you go. You got yourself a horse with a wagon, or aka the drawn cart. So the cart can hold up the four things when it's a baby version. Um, but once you expand the wheels, you can hold up you can hold about six or eight. I can't really remember. I can show you how to make expanded wheels, but it may take a little while. The all depends how many U branches and curved branches I have around me. So let's let's go look. So we need, we're going to need about one, two, three, four, eight U branches in order to make both wheels. So we'll grab four for now. That's a curved branch. We need curved branch too, but we're going to grab our U branches right now. There's one right there, and then I know I planted one near the tutorial, so let's go back up there. Whee! I got one over here somewhere. Here we go. Boink. Oops. Yeah, be careful where you're tapping, too, because it's very easy to jump off your horse. I'm gonna rest our horse here. So in order to make one wheel, you got to hit the U branches with your sharp stone, then combine them like this, and then you got to do it again. You can't do, you can't combine four at a time, you have to do two separate, and then you can combine these two together like this. Now we got to go get two curved branches. So there should be... Yeah, here's one. Here's two. Bring this back home with you. You're gonna whack them. I believe it's just two. I don't think you need four of these, but maybe you do. It's been a little while since I made big wheels, but stop taking your shoe off, lady. <laughs> Now you put these on here. Okay, nope, you need four. Okay, so you need four U branches and four curved branches. That, that makes sense. So go back out in the open. Grab two more curved branches while we're at it. Hello, my, ch my child is finding so much Santa. <laughs> Might as well bring the U branch with us. Aha, here we go. Might as well eat this onion. So, if you leave your horse unattained, I think that's the word I'm looking for, for a couple, for a little while, it will start running away. This happens in the PC version too. So, make sure you continuously go on your horse so it doesn't do that. Oh, I'm not in the right spot. So, it doesn't do that. Okay, U branch for the second wheel, and straight branches for the first wheel. So once again, combine these two together, and then you can put them on top of them. And now you put them on top. So see right here, it tells you now to take a rope to make a big wheel. This is why it's always good to have a lot of milkweed. So I'll go here. Get yourself two ropes. 
Oh, I put it in my pocket. I was like, where'd it go? Bring it in. Whatever. You know what? If my girl doesn't want to wear her shoes, she can leave it over there. <laughs> Wink. Because we're going to need another rope for the other wheel. Now take this rope, combine it, and you made yourself a big wheel. But once again, we have to repeat all those steps. So we got to go out and get some more branches. So three more U and three more curved. So put them right here. Or I'll just put it in my pockets. Whatever. <laughs> my girl can do whatever she wants. Well, here's wine. 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 Two. Three. All right, so that's full now. And another thing is, um, as you can see, if curved branches, if you turn them into um, the curved shaft, you can put them in your book bag. So it, it's a quicker way to carry stuff as long as you're carrying a sharp stone with you. I didn't carry a sharp stone with me. I don't think I did, right? No, okay. That's what I thought. Hey, where's my sharp stone? Speaking of it, way over here. Whack it. Combine them. Whack this. Combine this. Now we just need to get two more of each. Rock. I think I saw a close U branch right here. Yay! Now we just need one more curvy branch. But this is another reason why I tell people not to deforest your area. Because if you do deforestation and you don't plant your trees, like a U branch and stuff, you're going to run into trouble because you're going to have to travel farther and farther away. Like, it's fine to do, but, like, just be smart about it, if that makes sense. Yay, good, look at that. It's Santa came. I'm almost ready to see what present you get, my son. Almost ready. Okay. Now we'll combine these two together. Combine these two together. Now combine all, take the shoe off. She doesn't want to keep it. And now put this, yay. So you can't do one wheel at a time. See, it doesn't work. What you have to do is you combine the wheels like this, and then you put them on the cart. So now your cart can hold, I believe, six items. Only one way to find out. One, two, three. Oh, she put it on. Three, four. It's a, it's a counting stream, guys. We're learning learning our numbers. <laughs> Five. Six. Let's try for seven. Seven. Oh, okay. So we can do more than that. Unless I put one in my bag. I think I put something in my bag. So it's six or seven. If my math was right. Alrighty, son. Let's see what you get. So far, he got... He got a used flint striker. Nice. He got a sash. Fancy. He got a peace lily seed. That's really good. He got the uh, the ads. Eh? The ads. I don't, I don't know what it's called. Basically, just one of these weapons. I weapons. I call it one of these tools I have up there. What else did you get, son? You got some coal. I guess Santa thought you were on the naughty list a little bit there. He got a really fancy shirt. Look at me. I'm super warm now. He got a he has a huge mined rock. So not only did not only did he grab, get a basket, but he also got a mined rock. We haven't even done mining yet. Sorry, son on keyboard. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> It's okay. Oh, look at you. Now we have gravel. 
Ooh, here we have a piece of gold. Give me that rock. We haven't done mining yet. I was going to do mining in a different stream, but at least you get to see a little bit of things that will happen in some um, once we start mining. Gravel's really nice because you can actually turn it into flooring. So. But we're going to pick it up for now. I Stop picking up your shoe. Why are you saying, oh no? What's wrong? Why are you sad, child? You want this? He almost looks like complete Santa. Can't what? Can't I know we can't dump it. I wasn't planning on dumping it yet. We're not mining yet. Thank you, child. I knew. Don't panic. No, we're not showing the floor. We're okay. Not yet. Well, I'm just gonna let him panic. <laughs> and now we got some cake. So Santa gave him some cake. And then he got a pork pie. Mmm. Look at that. Delicious. We're going to put it on a big plate. So in this version, there are things called a big plate. You can't get those on the PC. So, but what I love about the big plate is you can stack the pie and then you can place it on the tables. So you have like a lot more room. On the PC one, you have like, um, why are you LOLing? Why are you LOLing? I'm just kidding. If anyone wants to know, Eternal in chat is the one that's playing with me right here. They're my siblings, so I have an excuse to be mean. <laughs> just kidding, they're my older sibling. They'll, they'll be mean to me. There you go. The child, don't get naked! Oh, you're gonna die with your mom? Naked. <laughs> We're the Nike fam now. There we go. Nike fam. But yeah, so we'll do a little recap walking around. So we learned how to make fence. Remember when you're making fences, if you make it the way I made, you have to make sure that you put the fence adjacent from the berries because the animals will walk out if you just have berries. But they can't walk with the fences. Even my character can't see. Because the fence is taking up that space. And the animals walk sideways for the most part. They're not going to walk onto the berry and then walk like this like I can. They, they can't do that. So they're stuck. Or you can make the fence like down below. Where you add the corner into it right here. But just remember your character cannot run through that kind of fence. You can also do what some people do, I didn't do it, where you put an oven in the middle of your farm. That way you could just easily go up here, murder an animal, and then bring it down and turn it into a pie. <laughs> uh, remember you have to put your horses onto a fence, because if you don't and say you thought you did and you put it down here, your horse is gonna start running away from you. I'm just showing as an example, because I'm, I'm going to let it run away, see? Also remember that horses are timed, they will do that in the wild with you, so if you're carrying it around with you, it doesn't matter if it's PC or this version or any version you play, your horses will run. Um, I don't know why I'm carrying dead cow with me. It's not dead, it's sleeping. <laughs> Remember, too, another recap that we learned, that to make a well on the phone version, dry up what we forget. What we forget. Turkey. I didn't kill the turkey, I know. <laughs> you can't domesticate a turkey, though. That's why I didn't murder it. I was just showing domesticated animals. I, yes, there are turkeys you can hunt in this game, but you can't domesticate turkeys. <laughs> no can domesticate them. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, my child. Uh, carrots, too. Remember, they will seed in an hour. But if you want them to seed quicker, take a bowl of water when they're fully grown and put it on there. They seed a lot quicker in the PC version, but not on this version. Remember, peace lilies, which are these you can find in the jungle. Grab one 
and uh, take its little lily, put it on your home marker if you want to respawn to a village you really like. Where's the home marker? Well, there's a home marker somewhere. Let's see, there's one. Put it on the home marker, it will make a noise, and on the upper right hand corner, you now see that it shows the peace lily. And that will show me where I have put it. So now if I live till 60, I will be reborn here. I'm going to eat a piece of cake. Thumb, nom, nom, nom. Let's see, what else did we learn? These clothes that Santa usually give, they don't decay. So this will never decay. But anything made with rabbit will decay. So just know your book bag will eventually decay. What else did we learn? Oh yeah, I was saying something about the well. On this version, you don't have to find well spots like you do on the PC. You just take duck ponds or goose ponds, whatever you want to call them. Dry them out, then take eight rocks and hit it with a shovel to get your well. And what else did we learn? Oh, that my son is terrified of his mother. <laughs> I think that's all. But yeah, I think that was a pretty successful tutorial. If you guys want, I could show you an example of the public server. So I'll try to live an hour on public. I, th You know, I think I will. I'll, I'll give you guys who never played it an idea of what public server is like. Um, so let me get out of my private. It's going to kick Eternal out too. <laughs> They're going to be confused. But... If you, this game is a little bit of money on the app store, but you could get it both on Android and iPhone. So when you start it up, it gives you, these are all your servers. It gives you tutorials right here. The tutorials are helpful, but they're also confusing. So it's, if you really don't know what you're doing, you may end up dying or getting stuck because they're, they're very specific. You have to go in a certain order, and if you screw up the order, you have to restart. That's why I don't really like them. But this is the beginning server. It has slower hunger and no killing, so people can't grief with the knives and the arrows, which is good, especially for people learning. There is, you can see there's Japanese, Korean, and Chinese servers, um, European and all that. Um... So if you speak another language, just know there's a lot of options. But you can go to any server you want. Like if you want to play in the US, feel free. If you want to play in the Japanese, feel free. Down here, you have to survive a, um, a whole 60 years or one hour in order to qualify for the no children, no player killing server. So this server is just a bunch of eaves creating a gigantic world together. So no babies will pop up. Uh, you have to play for 10 hours, which sounds like a lot of time. But if anyone's played one hour, one life like I have, 10 hours goes really quickly, actually. So once you play for 10 hours, you get the normal server. So normal servers where you can kill people, you can use your bows the food is normal so this is this is basically normal a lot of people on the phone they'll prefer the no griefing they can still grief and kill your animals but a lot of people prefer the no kill with the knives so you'll see a lot more on these servers it's pretty late at night so there's not a lot of numbers but usually you'll see about like 40 people in Japanese or about 50 in, you know, U.S. Uh, but it is, it is late and it's also, what, Tuesday? <laughs> so it's a random day to play. But we're going to get on the big server. Um, Eternal, if you want to try to play with me, go ahead. There's no twinning and quadrupling, unfortunately. If you want to play with your friend, um, you just got to... Hope for the best on Discord and have like a little word when you're babies. So well, if I'm her mom, I always tell Eternal to use Q. So if I see a baby use Q or an adult use Q, I know that's her or vice versa. So feel free to like get something like A or say something when you're older like <laughs> taco or, or something that's not in the game. Just make a little code so you know it's your friend. So we're going to jump on here. I can't hear my sound though. So we'll see how long I can live. But I'm going to give you guys a basic idea. So I'm born to what looks like a semi-eve village. 
There's a lot of new players right now because I call it the Kevin March. There's a YouTuber. I don't know his full name, but it's something Kevin. But every time he plays One Hour One Life, the games explode. I'm having a baby. Yes. <laughs> and he played like two days ago. So even the PC one was like, woo. Which is great for the games, and I'm excited, but there are a lot of new people, so once I get old enough, I'm gonna see if this is new players or they know what they're doing. Because main thing is you gotta make sure you're near um, water, <laughs> obviously. Um, near... You want to be close to certain biomes. It's okay if you're not near them, you'll just have to travel far, but it's always good to be near the swamps at least. I'm pretty warm. Each biome has different temperatures, though. There's certain biomes that are ideal compared to others. I believe, I don't remember if it's this rabbit biome or the desert, but I think those are most ideal for temperature wise. But right now, we'll keep it to the basics. If you're new, start in a grassland next to a swamp at least. <laughs> and hopefully, a bear biome is close by for iron. But they're doing pretty good. They're not an Eve village. Someone's found Santa because they have, they have his beard. <laughs> also, did my mom give me a name? I'm Henry, so I'm a boy. I'm not going to have babies. Uh, also, Eternal or anyone who's curious and wants to join and try to be in this family, we are the Smith family. <laughs> that is our name. Also, you see that little character with pink hair? She's exclusive to the phone one. You don't find her on the PC version or Two Hours One Life. I like that they have a little bit of variety both games. I like their hair. She's my favorite one, though. I think she's the cutest. <laughs> Especially in baby form. But stay near fire when you're babies because if you're running around, you'll get hungry quickly and cold quickly, so... And I'm not hungry, but I'm going to say F just to give you an idea. If you're hungry, say F. Oh, wow. Wow, Santa gives them a nice bucket that already has a handle. <laughs> Santa's gifting us coal and explosives. <laughs> I'm going to do this too so they know. Fire. Fire. Come on, Jima. Someone do fire. Fire. Ah, she's... She's going to use that. Well, now you can't, Gma. <laughs> you already made the fire big. I'm a good baby. I love my fam already. So it's a semi-Eve family. Like, oh, I'm old enough now. I, this, this character is hard to tell that he has hair. I was saying this in the last time I played public. But I did grow hair because I'm smiling. And once you can use your little your little things like this you know that you're old enough so i'm three <laughs> my yay i'm gonna do this to the fire i know they're using it for the gifts but just do this there's there's no point of wasting there we go so i'm still young so i don't want to travel too far away from home but i'm gonna try to do a little bit of yum so i ate a berry and then my next food, I would hate to use pie, but I don't don't think we have much else right now. We got one carrot, so I'll probably eat a carrot for my next meal. Well, they're already working on the well. Nice. Nah, these people know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. I'll keep my book out. We have dried wheat. Is this anything? Use dry wheat. All right. Okay. They they know what they're doing. They're in a they're in a really nice location. Oops. I'm gonna eat this. And now if you look, see how it says next to my um, food meter plus two. So I have a two plus bonus. So that's the yum in this game. Oh no! Who just died? My Jima. <laughs> Sad. Let's bury her. Do we have a shovel? We need a shovel to bury. I don't think we have a shovel. I can bury. Well, you don't need a shovel to bury. You can use a um a hoe on this game to do it as well. Because burying people is a little bit different. It just takes a little more effort. I guess we're going to have to eat the pie. Okay. 
I'll make the I'll make a shovel though. Unless we need a hoe. Let me see what we don't have. We need a shovel and a hoe, so we need both. My mom's too old to have babies. Uh-oh, and I think she has all sons. This might already be dead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no, yeah, this village died already, guys. I don't know if I can... Even if I stayed here, I'd be the only kid. Oh no. My mom had no daughters. I might, um... I feel bad, but I might end up killing myself simply because there's only two sons and a 40-year-old mom. So this, this Eve village, um... Unfortunately died before I was even a baby. I mean, before I was even a grown-up. So I'm gonna go end my life. I feel bad, but there's there's no helping it unless a different village comes. A villager. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen right now. Bye, fammy. Sorry. I can't go die because you got too old. We'll try again, though. We'll try again. Fortunately, the Eve town died. Look at my legs. I like that this character stays bald for quite some time. Let's pet the doggo. Nice doggo. Come here, doggo. Why is he no kill me? Doggo? Doggo, why you no kill me? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he was he he was debating on eating me. I died by starvation anyways. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at how big the family stayed though. Yeah, see, my mom only has two sons, and the only one that could have kept the family going died at 16. So this lived four generations. That's not too bad for a little Eve village, but let's try again. Hopefully I find a family. Are we an Eve Eve at this point? I'm a girl, which is good. I'll say hi. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Are we Eve? You are Crayola. Okay. I like crayons. I have a brother. We're naked, so we're definitely not a big civilization. But there's another girl, and I'm a girl. I'll say K. Yay! <laughs> this one's a little more promising. Love. Love you. See, what is our last name? We are now the Freyheart? Freyheart? A really cool last name, but I can't pronounce it correctly. <laughs> I'm just a baby living in a little baby world. A lot of sisters. So this is the ginger fam on this family. Typically, it doesn't matter. Um, There's not like a set fam on this version like the pc one i still call it the ginger fan but it's gonna rotate this pc the phone version i'm trying to say will rotate through the family orientations if your generations last a very long time so if you start ginger eventually it would probably rotate to the jungle and then it'll rotate to the desert and then so on so forth but right now we are rotating through the ginger fam I actually don't know if I'm a ginger. I can't tell until my hair comes. <laughs> I think I am. I think I'm a little ginger. I can't tell though. I'm kind of bald. <laughs> I'm just a bald baby. Yeah, we don't even have an axe yet. But we are working on the forge. We have a lot of bananas. Bananas are great, especially if you don't have a farm. They will give you a lot of food health. So even if you can't yum, they're really good. Also, guys, I see this as a mistake a lot on this version. You cannot make pine flooring on the phone version. So pine is not good for flooring on this one. PC, though, you can make a lot of flooring with it, but not this one. What pine is useful for is... um. You can use it to make tea, and if you're struggling and you don't have any girl babies or babies in general, if you drink pine tea, it ups the chances for other players to be born to you. So if you need babies, drink pine tea. It looks like I'm on fire. <laughs> hmm. Baby's roasting over here. Don't mind me. 
Man, I've been a baby for a long time. Oh, I'm not a baby anymore. I'm a ginger. Yay. I'll say, love you, ma. Hug. <laughs> I don't have a huggy. I should probably emote a hug. All right, so let's see. What do we got going here? Got a lot of chopsticks by accident, which is very typical. It's easy to make knitting. Well, I call them chopsticks. I meant knitting needles. It's easy to accidentally make these because what happens is, uh, say you cut down skewers and you need the, you want to stack them. You can't stack them in this. It makes them into needles. I think on the PC version, you can stack your skewers together, but you can on this version. So don't stack your skewers. You'll just make a lot of knitting, knitting needles. Chopsticks are made differently. I thought they were chopsticks at first, but they're not. So let's see what I can do. I can't travel too, too far away from the fam. Unless I bring a basket. Which I probably could. Let's see. We got a hatchet, which is good. We have a forge. We have... That's it. We have no oven yet. Let's look at our location, though. Let's see what we got going. Do we have water? Do we live near... Oh, no! My brother's dead. We have no pads to help him. That's sad. Water. Let's see. Do we got water? Eat this. Eat my berry. We got... We do have a swamp. Let's see... So far, I see a swamp, but I'm not seeing water close by, which is not ideal in my brain. Doesn't mean you can't live here. It just makes it a little harder is all. Let's see. I'm still just a baby one, so I can't say anything. But I gotta be careful of the boars. Oh, there's water. Uh, it's quite a ways. If anything, I would prefer to probably make our base over here this would be a smarter area right here simply because water's closer but that's okay i mean i could always set up my base here i'd feel bad for my mom though she'll be like what are you doing child and i'll be like just living in my own little hermit world all right here's milkweed Oh, I'm not going to hit it till it seeds. Oh, someone already hit seeding milkweed. Yeah, see how far away we are? That's that's a distance right there. It's not impossible, but it's going to be a little uh, little tedious to get the um, water from my farm. Also, a little unfortunate things is you can't stack bananas on this version. You can on the PC one, but you can on this one. So you got to put them in a basket. But I'm going to take this basket. Sorry, Mom. I'm probably going to make my house next to you. Only because I don't like how far away from water. Unless there's water north. Unless there's water north. No, there's not. Okay. Sorry, Mommy. I love you. <laughs> but I'm going to... I'm setting up my base south. Not too far away, so don't don't miss me too much. I'm just gonna go a little south. Toasty baby, yeah, I was a very toasty baby. I was on fire earlier, <laughs> but I can't complain that I was cold because I was nice and warm. All right, and once I get an axe, though, well, I'll be good. I want to set up my base right here. It's gonna be a tight squeeze until I can get stuff, but I like it. Or actually, I can even set it up right here. Ooh. Let's see. Hello. Got a little bit of snow, which is good. Ooh, and there's a duck right there. Man, there's so many good locations. Uh, well, I mean, they're not ideal. I, I'm not going to say these are ideal locations, but better. <laughs> better locations. Hmm. Hmm. I do like going in the... How how big is this rabbit biome? We got one rabbit. One rabbit. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. There's so many ducks. I don't know. I think 
I think I'm going to set up my camp here. Let's see. How many rabbits are down this way? We got one cow. Lots of water. That's why they were finding Santa. We got a seal. I'm not seeing a lot of rabbits regardless of how big this is. I don't know if I like this location. I kind of feel bad, but I might end up walking away from my family. <laughs> I'm sorry, family. I don't like the location. I love you. But I don't want to go too far because I do love them. But where can I go where I feel satisfied? <laughs> I'm run. I'm run. Let's let's try down here. It's a big swamp. It's nice, but oops. It's just not it's not sitting with me. Just not resonating. I guess I'm gonna be one of those hermit families. I'm gonna live somewhere, somewhere away from my fam. So we're just gonna, we're kind of like starting out as our own Eve at this point. Oops, that's not our sharp rock. So when you're an Eve, the very first thing I recommend is always forage for food. Try to make a basket right away and look for a location to set up that you feel is sad at best. What probably happened with my mom is she started having kids, so she found the first swamp in water because it's hard when you're traveling with babies to really uh, get a place going. But I'm still young. I'm not too young, but I'm still young, so... We're gonna keep going until I find something I feel good for. Because right now, that's way too big of a snow biome. Here we go. We got jungle rabbit so far. Let's see. How big is bear biome? Oh, just more snow. Oop. Dropped my basket. We got piggies. This could work. It all depends on... Um, oh, someone's been here. Look at it. Nice. Hmm. Let's see then. If someone else thought, maybe. Got a lot of desert. So there's a lot of biomes right here. But is there a bear? Because you also want to make sure you're near a bear biome. Because that's how you're going to get your iron. So you can't set up a location without that. So right now, unfortunately, I'm just seeing a bunch of desert. So we're going to keep going down. Hopefully not get eaten by a snake. <laughs> and I know my person's going to start getting hungry. So let's find a, a banana. There we go. Let's look at my age. 11. So I won't have kids yet. Soon though. Very, very soon. Okay, we finally found the bear biome. Which is great. I use, I mean, this is my own theory, but usually when there's wolves, there's usually iron. And as long as it hasn't been picked over, I should find iron here. A lot of blueberries, which is nice. Oh, see, told you. Every time, if you don't see a wolf in a bear biome, you probably won't find the iron. Goodbye. So that's good. I'm going to bring an iron with me. I got to be careful too because this is the public server. So I never know if someone let loose a bear. And you never know anything. <laughs> so you be careful. Alright, so so far bear biomes there. There is a swamp here. Oh, let's not go in there right now. There is a bear. But let's see if we can... We can say this is good. Because it's okay if you don't live exactly on the bear biome. Alright, but how good is my rabbit biome though? That's that's the only thing we need. And then I will be decent. It's a really weird rabbit biome. <laughs> uh, uh, there's rabbits, yep. So last but not least though, how big is our grass biome if we have one? Hmm... These are questions. <laughs> questions! 
questions I have. Let's eat this carrot while we're running around. I'm probably going to have a baby, but that's okay. I'll tell baby we are setting up camp. Ooh, desert. So this one, this location has everything I need except grass. It's almost perfect. I don't need to be next to all the biomes, but if I could just find grass. Because you can't set up camp without your milkweed. I gotta be careful running through a swamp, though. Because that's where all the pigs live. <gasps> There's one. Speaking of one. Okay. Ooh. I don't know why she wanted to throw that. All right, careful. Ah, uh, see, so there's just no grass biome. So long, Piggy. Man, so close. <gasps> oh, no. It snuck up on me. <laughs> Curse you. Smack you. Spoosh, spoosh, spoosh. Wow, there was two of them? Two snakies? <laughs> Well, I am snake food, legit, at this point. If only I had a doggo, because if you look at your book, it tells you. That's fine. Whoa. Look at that person's name. Oh, no, they said no. Okay. One more time. <laughs> Yay, this one looks bigger. Wait, mommy. Love me. <laughs> Mom, I died by a snake. It was really sad and tragic times for me. Do I feed you? I hope so. Please do. <laughs> Don't leave me, Mom. I'm a good I'm a good player. Not for long. That's okay. So my mom's probably 40, but the thing is is because she had me at 39. She should be able to feed me until she's 42. Because right now, if this was the PC version, if my mom birthed me at 39, I'd, uh, I'd probably be dead. Food. Feed me, mommy. Feed me. You still can. I believe in you. See? The phone lets you feed me if you have me at 39. <laughs> we okay. We, just, we, we ain't gonna die, I promise. At least not yet. Say F if stop feeding. Okay. You'll be fine though, trust me. The phone, phone's nice about it. Not so much PC. PC would be like, yeah, I'm dead. I mean, I think she stops feeding at 41 or 2, but either way, I think it's when I'm 3. Wee. Okay, so they're in a really good location. Oh, look it, they already have some pigs. And they have a horse. They were, so they're working on their sheep. Because they have the sheep food. Good pigs. Good pigs had escaped. I think sh it's back now. Okay. Yay. I'll say yay. Yay. Their animals were escaping because of how they had their fences. Can you make pies? Yes. Yes, I can. I am actually a professional pie maker. I can make pork pies. I can make berry, carrots. You name it. I am chef. I'll say chef, baby. <laughs> chef. Baby. <laughs> I'll get you more clay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ma. What a nice mom. Wee. Don't stop feeding me yet. <laughs> Just keep holding me. I'm okay with this. I know it's eating away her food. Follow. Oh. Okay. Well, uh, oh, I don't need you to feed me anymore. And she can't feed me anymore. I have to feed myself. Hooray. Yay. Thanks, Mom. I know I am. I'll say I will. Okay. So. Let's see what we got going here. We got a lot of iron. We got to make sure our fire's going. 
I know I'm going to be a little hungry, but I'll be okay. I'm watching it. Oh, they want to cook the rabbit. That's fine. I'm I'm stuck. <laughs> I ate your rabbit. We need... We need to make... We definitely need a lot of stuff. Like, it's... They're getting there, but we need to make... It looks like we need a hoe, a shovel. They have an axe, because that's how they got this. They have... They have a cart, so they made... So they have the pickaxe, they have the chisel. They have the smithing hammer. I'll leave this out for you guys. They have... They have this. They have. Oh, they must have all their tools because they also made the fence. So see how they made their fence. They unfortunately, what they ended up doing, unless they have a gate, is they just closed themselves off. They are not. Oh, they got the gate. So they they made a gate. So see, I didn't show you guys a gate, but the reason why I don't like the gates is see how the pig is escaping. PC one, they don't usually escape, but this one will. So I'm going to eat food, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix their fence. Because this is why I don't like making the fences with the gates. Because as you can see, it doesn't work. So I need to fix fence. So how we're going to do this is we're going to get our straight sticks. Hopefully we'll find everything. And I'm going to make it so they don't have to struggle with losing all their animals right now. Straight stick. Straight stick. Thank you. I need a sharp stone. Berry. There's no berries. Family's eating all the food. I see why my mom wants pies. Hello. What's this? Carnitas. I ate them. I had to. Mm, where's my sharp stone while well, I can... Aha, here we go. It's for the greater good, Mom. Trust me. I got your fences. I know how to make them. So we need to... I'll say... Do we have... Shovel? Darn it. Shovel. Shovel. Hmm. I think so. Oh, yeah. I see it. Okay, see it. So what's going to happen is all the animals are going to start escaping. My family's probably going to panic, but don't worry, guys. I have to do this. <laughs> it's it's for a reason. We need to, um, let's say, I... Fixing... Fixing fence. I don't know if she's still there, but that's okay. Okay. So we got the shovel. Need the mallet. My carnitas. I hate that I'm doing that, but I got to. Now we need to get a bowl. To go find some berries. Let's see. I'm going to look for wild berries that are hopefully not eaten. Here's some. I don't need a whole bunch, but I need at least four. Oh, is there something in his bowl? No, there's not. I'm just lagging a little. Yeah, I'm lagging. <laughs> Boink. Hi, sheep. Okay, now we're going to go back down here. Hi, pig. We're going to put the bowl up here because I don't trust my fam. I don't want them eating it. Okay, 
Now we need to... Um, hmm. I need to find dirt. Come here. Soil, 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 soil. We need soil. We need soil. Yay! Oh, is there something in this? No. Is that clay? Oh, they turned it into a clay pit. That makes sense. So if you use too much soil and then you whack it with a shovel, it'll turn into more soil. But once you use that up and you whack it again, it turns into clay. So just a fun little reminder. We here. Hi, Piggy. I know you're all going to escape, but it's for the greater good. I might have to get more berries because I'm hungry. Delicious. All right, I need a sharp stone now. Is there one in my pocket? No. Not in my pocket. I'm the last one who had it and I lost it. I'm going to put this in my pocket though. Okay. They killed a lot of our rocks, so it's going to be a little harder to have... Why would you kill all my rocks? <laughs> Jeez. Now I have to travel so, so far away to find... There we go. Woo! Yummy. Hi, sheeps. It's okay, guys. I'm going to fix the fence so you don't... You won't be running in the wild like this. Goodbye! <laughs> my my family's going to think um, I'm going to be a griefer, but I'm not a griefing. I have to do this. I feel bad. We're going to... All the animals escaped anyway. Oh, someone else is already doing it! Yay! I don't know who... Someone else knew exactly what I wanted to do. Thanks, fam. We gotta get rid of the gate, too, though. So now we gotta get a flint. Flinty. Come here, Flinty. Aha. Flint. Where's my berry? So tiny. Here we go. There we go. So you technically only need one. You don't need to fix all the sides. But as long as you can go in and out. But I got to get rid of that gate though. Sorry mom. I didn't put a raspberry there. I put a uh, berry bush. Or not mom. Sorry fake mom I guess. Where's our water? I think I saw a well earlier. Up here. Boink. Nice. I know she wanted to put a raspberry bush, but meh. Meh. Good. Now I'm going to eat food because I'm hungry. And let's see. I think if I whack this it will fix the gate fence we can't have that there we go no gate fence i don't like them don't like them there gone gone and done now we're gonna grab little piggy here little pig he's not gonna stay oh maybe he may not though the pig might follow me i know the sheeps follow you I love you, Piggy Wiggy Wiggy. I love the Piggy Wiggy. I gotta wait till he's hungry. <laughs> he hungry. Now he's hungry. There you go. I love you, Piggy. No, don't follow me out. Stay in here. He's really following me. I'm going to block him in here. That's what I'm going to do. Come here. Up here. I'm going to make it so he can't move. <laughs> now you're stuck. Where are you going to go, pig? Nowhere. Boom. 
not my brother. Yay, I'll say, thank you. <laughs> there we go, guys. So, if you don't want your animals running away either, block them in. <laughs> I did. Wait for the berry bush to grow and you'll be all set. All right, I'm going to go grab the sheep now. I'm going to grab this. Put in my pocket. Eat this berry. Delicious. We're going to make some carnitas. For food. Make another one. This is actually dog food too, but again, we can't have the dogs at the moment. Boy, we got a lot of shears for some reason. <laughs> More than we really need. Okay. I'm gonna go grab sheep, because we got sheep food. Oh, I saw one just roaming up here somewhere. Oops. Here was my finger. I gotta make sure I tap. Because if I, because you can slide in the game, but when you're playing horizontal, sometimes it ends up messing up. Where are you, sheepy? I knew you were up here somewhere. You were somewhere up here. Sheepy, sheepy, come here, sheepy, sheepy. There's a poop, so there's a, <laughs> there's a sign. There's a sheep somewhere. We found its poop. Hmm. As long as someone didn't kill it, it should be. Should be around here. Eat this. Huh, I don't know where it is. Sheepy. I mean, I could almost get another one with a bow and arrow, but this one was already a legit sheep. I remember seeing it. And the thing about domesticated animals, most of them will follow a character. So. It just takes a long time to bring them back where you need them. Hmm. I think it ran. It. The problem is I also can't hear, though. Well, we need this for home to cook rabbits. So, not a bad thing. Ow. Oh, here's one. There's a dead... Sh already a sheep dying. I don't think I could get it. I think it's already... I think it's long gone, it's expiration date. <laughs> hey, I can't save it. Sorry, little guy, I have to wait for the healthier sheep. I love you, have a banana. <laughs> banana for you. This one's gonna run away from me because it's semi-domesticated, but it's not domesticated. I have to wait till it poops the baby. Come on. Give me your baby. Alright, come on, child. Away you go. Okay. Hopefully I can make it in time. Here we go. Now we gotta put you down. Right. Right here. I can't. I gotta pick up the sharp stone. Don't run away. You stay. Don't get hungry. Okay, before the pig has its baby. Nice. Now we're going to feed you. Now we got ourselves a sheep. See, family? You just have to believe. Okay. So now this family doesn't have to worry about the animals escaping because the berry bush grew. I don't think they've ever had a cow, so we'll probably have to get them a cow. It's, it's going to be a tight squeeze in there, but that's what they were doing, so. You know, I might as well plant this berry bush. Yay! Beba died. Sad. I don't know who that was. <laughs> oh, sad. <laughs> I'm not sure who died, but it's sad whoever died. 
Oh. I had a son. Oops. Problem is, is I can't hear my, um, my sound. So I didn't realize I pooped the baby. <laughs> Sorry, son. I gotta be more mindful now. Now I know what my mom was saying. My mom was saying, baby died. And yes, baby very much dead. And I'm probably the only young girl left, so I gotta be more mindful of what I'm doing. Okay. Well, how old am I? I mean, I must be old enough to have kids. 19. Okay. Sorry, G Mod. Well, Graham. It's actually, sorry, Mother. Didn't mean to kill your, your grandson. Okay. Piggy, you are in my way, sir. So, we're gonna let one of these carrots flower. So, we're, we'll do it with those ones. We'll bring all this down here. I'm keeping an eye out for children. <laughs> I'm watching you. I'm watching you guys now. I'll say bye. Love you. Oh, wow. She really did. I miss. There goes my mom now. I'm gonna. I'll try to bury her. I'm gonna have to take some pine tree pine tea though because we're pretty low on numbers it looks like so I guess I could show you guys that oh he already moved her I don't really like the location of our graveyard it's too close to the farm All right, so let's get some pine tea going. Oops, did I put something in my pocket? I think I did. A bowl. Mm, lum, lum. So in order to make pine tea, we need to go get a kindling right here. And we need to start a little fire. So we'll start it right here, right next to the tree. Perfect. So now we gotta go get this. Start the fire. Oh, Thought I had enough time. So right here. Cause I'm gonna make sure that I'm the baby maker now. So start fire. And then we're going to grab this bowl. We're going to grab some water. And then we're going to grab some pine needle. And now we have to wait for the fire to go out in order to get what we need. Let's pick up this town a little bit. It's very, it's all over the place. We don't want to waste our baskets. So we'll put one basket there and one basket there. We honestly don't need all of these. All of these. We can have two, the two at most. The rest of them, I'm gonna go throw in the wild somewhere. <laughs> all right. So while the fire's doing that, we need two baby sheep because we need to kill one sheep for the saddle. So, like, I'm watching out for babies. We're gonna go back down to here. All right, put the water on the fire and put the needles in there. And now we are simmering up some pine tea. And once it's done, I can't hear when it's done. I'm just gonna make an educated guess. There we go. I'm gonna eat it. And now that should boost the chances for me to have kids now. Now I just gotta make sure I watch what I'm doing. <laughs> Might as well cook this rabbit while we're at it. Boink. 
Get all this over here. I'm watching you, babies. I'm watching out for you. All right, there's a goat. I keep calling it a goat. There's a sheep. Feed sheepy. Good. And now, bring these bulls with me. Kill sheepy. I gotta go the long way. Come here, sheepy. Now I'm stuck. <laughs> my girl, I like that my girl was like, woo. She was running in circles. She couldn't help herself. Do we have a meat? I am the last one left of my family. Let's hope this pine, this pine tea works for me. <laughs> Oh. Yay, a baby! It's a boy. I say, hi, baby. And on this one, you ask them if they want to stay. You want to stay? Question mark. And they'll say yes or no. Yes. Okay. Now we will call them. Their name will be Steven. And I'll say, welcome to the family. Welcome to family. Yay. <laughs> Alright, so we have one baby. Go away, little baby pig. I know, I'm giving you it. Hold on, son. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Moink. We're gonna put him next to the fire. And we're gonna keep looking for. I mean, I'll just make a new one. Ooh. I'll say, yes, baby? Question mark. Go away, piggy. Aw. Cute, baby. <laughs> Love you too. <laughs> <laughs> I have a cute baby. <laughs> um, I'm working on horse. I'm going to let him know. Working on horse. Hmm. What you do? Oh, look, he just asked. <laughs> cute. It's like I knew he was going to ask before he asked. Okay, let's see. We need a flint. Where'd you go, child? They should be careful about running off. I can't hear their little gooby goos. Child! Oh no, where'd he go? Don't panic me. There he is. Come here, you. Come here, you. Whew, that was close. Goodness. This poor village is very unorganized. I gotta help it. Okay, now we will chop up this. Guess my bag's full. And there goes my child. <laughs> they grow up so fast. I don't even think he's old enough to run away, but there he goes anyways. Come here, you. It's only you and me, my baby. Yay. <laughs> I'll say good luck, baby. Love you. Okay. Now we can put this on the horse. Yay! We got ourselves a horse. <laughs> you're too baby to go on it. You wait till you're a little bit older. Okay. Let's put a little sticky on this and we're gonna drag this with us. I'm not a big fan of how close the forge is with the um, kitchen. It's bothering me. 
probably shouldn't be bothering me, but it's bothering me. It's not my village to fix it, but I would probably take a pickaxe and move it this little bit. Because it's just a little too cluttered for me. But we're going to put this here. Because the thing is, is if someone lilied, I don't want to mess with their home. Because I don't want to upset them. So this is what they want, so I'm just going to work with it. That's the, ascent, that's the goal. But I can at least... At least make it look a little better. I know I'm hungry. I'm I'm nervous about my kid because there's really not too much room here. I mean, I'm I could still feed him for now. I'm gonna make some more pine tea. Oops. That way I can up the chances again. I don't know if that's how it works, but. Oh well, you never know. Okay, put this here. I have a cute son. <laughs> oh yeah, everything's all set up for the pine. What's this? Oh, a gold piece? All right, we really need a, a hoe, though, so we gotta get all this all this going. Okay, I'm I'm looking carefully because again I can't hear. Oh, there's a hoe. Why? Never mind. Well, good. Now I can uh, plant some carrots because carrots seem to be the only thing keeping us alive right now. So plant some carrots. My mom Santa hat. So we don't need a hoe, but we need... Let's see. I mean, it doesn't hurt to have more than one hoe, though. So we'll make another hoe. Another hoe for the farm. And we'll make a shovel. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> we got a lot of baskets, which is nice. Ooh, a cart. Works even better. Okay. So the big fire's dying, so let's go get this. Put it on the fire. How old am I? Uh-oh. I don't have much time to have a kid. It's okay. The one thing is, it's okay if a village dies out right away. Because, um... You can... Why is the carrot like this? You don't need to put the carrots in the bowl on this version. On the PC one, you have to. But on this version, you could just put it on the pie. You don't, you don't have to worry about that. <gasps> oh, bye, bye. And it's a daughter. Um, I'll say, hi, baby. Want to stay? Oh, boy. Let's see what she says. Yes. Okay. Her name is going to be Lucina. Let's say welcome to family. So she's basically the last hope for the family. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make her. I'm going to try to do it super quick. But I'm going to try to make her some tea <laughs> so when she gets older, she'll poop babies. I don't want to run too far away from her, though. Okay, because she's going to get hungry. But this is going to be her food. Come here, child. I gotcha. I gotcha. Come here. There. Now when she gets older, she'll have babies. <laughs> Without her knowing, or maybe she does. Oh, who knows? <laughs> Yay. <laughs> oh, this baby. Wait, am I lagging? Has there always been two babies? 
No, maybe she just ran there. I need to eat a carrot or something. Alrighty. Okay, where's my baby? There it is. Okay, let's see. It's also hard, I'll say. Are you... Are you new, baby? Okay. I'm gonna give my baby the backpack then. Oops. Or, you know, throw the backpack in here. Nice! <laughs> this here. Everything's everywhere. Wah. <laughs> it's all disorganized. Actually, have these been cooked already? No. Okay. I wasn't entirely sure. But, um, when you, when you use your lily, you can respawn as an Eve, or you can also be born um, as a baby to the fam. Oh, sad. <laughs> Come here, child. My son died. That's okay. I'll say, good luck, BB. Love you. Love you. Love you. Okay. Put this on the big plate. Wooshki. I think I'm gonna let the fire go small for now. So I can cook. Well, I guess I don't need to let it go small. I can just use kindling. I know what my words want to do. Don't know why I'm not using the horse. <laughs> Hmm. Put that there. Feed my child. Because I think I still can. I think I can. I think I can. Kindling. There we go. Okay. Stop whacking the emotes. <laughs> Put this there. Use it. Oh, did I turn this on and then not cook anything? I think I did. Well, that was a blonde moment. <laughs> like, there. You saw nothing, child. I am good player. Because I'm trying to do too many things at once. <gasps> There's a bell. I don't know how far away it is. Can make pie. I hear. There we go. Make pie. Make pie. I think we can actually cook it if the oven's still going. Nice. Might as well cook our pies while the oven's on. I know I'm hungry. We got this. We won't die, guys. Don't worry. Darn it. Guess we didn't have it. Delicious. <laughs> okay. I guess I did cook one. Wait. They are all cooked. I just didn't realize. Unless someone else did it. I don't even know. I don't even know. I wanted to make another hoe anyways. And then... It died. That's okay. We got the other hoe going, which is good. 
So now we're gonna come up here, grab the. We need a shovel. So, oh, we have one. Never mind. We're doing we're doing pretty good. I think for the most part, I only have one kid, but that's okay. We're not doing too bad. I gave her I gave her tea. So she'll have she'll have babies. It's also late at night, so just like on the PC one, the later you play, certain servers will be smaller. Okay. Here's another one. You know what? They have so much butt logs. <laughs> so many butt logs. And I'm sure they have a little bit of everything they need. Just scattered everywhere. But if I can find the mallet. Because I know I had it earlier. There's the mallet. Okay, good. I can do this for them. Oh, there's another one. Do this. Do that. We need, we desperately need something for this farm. Put that there. Grab another butt log. Guy, what I'm doing right now, guys, is I'm making a giant sign. Because I'm not in tutorial world, I'm not going to be saying exactly step by step what we're doing. But I'll just let you know I'm making a sign. <laughs> a big sign, too. It's not, not going to be a small sign. Because if you highlight it, it shows you um, that we are making a sign. You gotta put tied up right here. Because this is exactly looking. Yay! <laughs> Trust me, this, this town needs that. It definitely needed it. Okay. And it also needs water. I don't like how far away the water is. Do they have a bucket? Now that I think about it, a bucket would come in handy. Cause that's the thing. Once you get a yeah, they do. Okay. Once you get a bucket, it's it's fine if your farm's far away. And I'm going to water all these carrots or most of them because you know it takes about an hour for them to seed on this version, so it's okay. I don't know where my child is. I hope she's a I hope she's okay. <laughs> Alright, let's start giving this family milkweed. Trust me, fam. This you will thank me later. Oops, I didn't mean to hurt. Uh, I said hurt. I didn't mean to uh pick that, but that's okay. So we're gonna fill this up with a bunch of milkweed. And then we're also gonna fill it up with carrots. You can also use signs, like, on the PC one, you can make, um, town names with the signs. But I like that you can put the seeds on it. Alright, that should be enough milkweed. Now let's start doing carrot seeds. I'm gonna, I know I have a couple. Here's one. Two. I don't think we can put bean seeds, Pretty sure bean seeds won't. Reason why you I you can't put bean seeds, yeah, is because just like the PC one, you put beans in a bowl. Cause you can cook with them. But you can also plant with them. Well, we're gonna put them in the bowl. Okay. This is empty, so let's go fill this up with water. What they should do is leave one bowl near the near the well. That way they can just keep coming back and filling that up. One, two, three. I think it's eight or ten. It might be ten. That's four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. So it is ten. Ten. Oh, more? Oh, no, it's still in my hand. Ten. <laughs> there we go. Run, me, run. Run, me, run. Hi, daughter. Okay. She's standing there, so she's probably typing. 
I'm gonna give her that. There, Dar, you can eat that cactus fruit for yum. Eat it for yum. All right, we'll put this. I I don't like disorganized things, but I mean, this family was struggling, so I guess I there we go. I thought I had a milkweed. So I'm gonna try to organize it until I die, cause it, it will help out too. Okay, good. Now we're gonna get a bowl. Let's check on the fire. Fire is good. Get a bowl, and we're going to look for my bucket. Here, we'll put the bucket right in the middle. There you go, bucket. We're gonna water more carrots because we're gonna seed. Um, what seeds? Carrots? Okay. We don't need all those carrots. We're gonna seed up the carrots. Okay, good. What else do we got here? Deep tilled row, dried planted wheat, dried planted wheat, dried wheat, beans, beans. So they don't have um, corn anymore. So I gotta go get some, I gotta go get some corn. She took my water. That's okay. She can do whatever she wants with the water. Well, actually, I need that for one. I need that. Oh, okay. Ha ha. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go get some corn for us then. Goodbye, child. Actually, let me look my age. 45. Yeah, I can go get corn. I'm off the unicorn. She doesn't know. <laughs> so we need to go find the rabbit biome. Oops. Or fall off my horse. Find the rabbit biome. And that's where we'll find Tezonite or whatever the way you pronounce it. And that, once you grab that seed and plant it, it becomes corn. I'm going to eat this nanner. I'm not really sure where the rabbit biome is. I know they have them pretty close because they didn't have a horse and they had a lot of rabbits, so. I'm sure I got the right home marker. Hmm. There's a dead wolf. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Let's make sure I can find one though. Nope. Not there. Aha, is that it? No. <laughs> it almost looked like it. I lied. That was... Ah, here we go. It's the bigger one. Into the horse cart you go. I'll bring this banana with me. We might as well bring... We might as well bring stuff home. <laughs> now we're going to plant this carrot. Not carrot. I called it a carrot for some reason. We're going to plant this corn because we need corn. Yay. I know my child took my water, but it is what it is, I guess. Where's my bowl of beans? She must have unbowled it. <laughs> well, I was bowling it up so I could plant them or make them into food, but... That's okay. I don't know why, but they have all the wood over here. So I'm just going to keep it over there for now. Eat a banana. Oops. I want to put it here because I don't know why, but I just want to. Because it looks better in my brain. <laughs> Alright, we'll bring Kindling back home. Here we go. We should probably make another box. Yeah, I'll do that. We have so much so much string just laying around. I know they have it for um for clothes, but main focus should be organization and then you can work on your clothes. So let's make another box for them. I don't know where to put it. I'll I'll just put it here for now. That way we can start. Oh yeah, didn't I say I was going to get rid of some of these? They don't need to have a thousand. 
Okay. We're doing fairly good. I'm pretty proud. I'm gonna pick things up, get things rolling. Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna keep the flint and the sharp stones in an area that's easy to grab because they're gonna need them for it. How's the sheep? Okay, sheep good. I never went and got a cow, but that's okay. I managed to get them the horse they needed and um, sheep and the pig back. So, put that there. We don't need all these. Okay, make sure that's all in my pocket. <laughs> I have so many of them. Oops. Okay, put the sharp rock. How old am I? Okay, we got 10 minutes, but I'm doing good. I should be using the horse for this, but it's okay. I'm going to use the horse to get rid of the... um. All the snares we don't need. I'm going to throw them in the bunny biome, so it's not like they're... They're not going to be where they belong. It's just right now. Eat this carrot. Oops. Right now, they're just... They don't look good in the village. So. That's still kind of the village. There we go. So now when they travel here, they'll get all their snares that they need. Come back here, Horsey. Nice. Now it's out of out of my mind. <laughs> and out of my way. Can put this up here. Turn it into a water pouch. A shoe, just kidding. Turn it into a shoe. <laughs> Never hurts to have shoes. Oh, if we had another bucket, we could put the worms in the bucket, but we don't. So we'll just put the worm over there for now. There. Because you, it's, it's not like super important. But I find if you organize your village, people are more likely to stay and they're also more likely to not die because they'll be able to find things easier. But when it's thrown everywhere, kind of like this one was when I first started, it's hard to find things and it gets clustery. So try if you can. It's hard when you got a bunch of people on, but... Do your best to try to keep it organized. And unfortunately, unlike the PC version, there's no leader that can call out orders like, we need this or clean up this. Like, you, you have to run around on your horse and just try to ask people if they can clean up or do this, this, and this. So it, that, that's a little unfortunate because I do like the leadership thing. I would I should be using the cart honestly. That's okay. See my daughter's also cleaning. <laughs> she felt the same. She said, "Boy, it was or disorganized in her brain." You can move it. If you need to move the kindling closer, go ahead. I was just putting it in a corner. I'm, I'm just kind of picking up. I'm not doing a lot. I'm just trying to make it look a little better. I'm a little nervous because my daughter has yet to have a kid. So there might not be a lot on. Or or they're all at the bell. Very possible. But we tried though. We did what we could. My person's going to start getting hungry. Me. Okay, bring the shovel closer too. I'm hungry. <laughs> Yay. Seeded. Okay, put the seeds in my bag. 
I can put them over here on the board. Yeah, a baby. Pick up your child. Pick up your child. He's a boy. He's cute. I'll say, hi, Gran. Baby. Oh, boy, this one, like, oh, they ran away from me. That's okay. Pick this up for food. Is this a deep till row? No, it has corn. Oh, yeah, that's right, because she ran away. Oh, my phone apparently is dying. That's all right. We're doing good time, though, because I was going to end the stream after this. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> phone, just last a little longer. Just last a little longer. Boink. I'm just going to keep organizing till I die. <laughs> I would like to move the, um, the graveyard thing is it takes a while for people who are dead to like disappear i might do that because they they need a they need a better location it's not a good location for it because eventually they should probably expand their farm and having all the dead people right here is gonna make that difficult for them so why would you put the no no lady no don't put the beans in there. That's a waste of space. Put your beans in this bowl. Because if you have beans in a bowl... See? I'm going to eat this cactus root. It doesn't... It saves you space. See? I like the Santa baby. <laughs> See? Put them in the bowl. I'll say... Hi, grandbaby. <laughs> okay. Oh, he, he a very happy grandbaby. Okay, we're gonna water all this. Gma can do stuff before she dies. <laughs> Gma's a good Gma. Gma. I think he said yes. So there's a new player. I am too old to help you, new player. Sorry. I wish I could, but I'm already like 57 or something. 56, close enough. That's gonna be... Fortunately, I would help the new player. But I'm about to die. <laughs> I'll only be able to say three words and then I'll die, a skeleton. Whenever you have a new player and you have a somewhat set up town... It's the very it's really good to teach them one or two things. Farming, because it's pretty easy, or making pie. Cause both those are they're not too complicated. Or fire, because you know <laughs> fire pie, you know, farming. Just get the basics. Farming is really important though, because we And pie, honestly, and pie and farming. I usually teach them farming, unless they ask um for cooking pie. Or if we're really desperately needing a chef. I know I'm hungry, so I gotta go eat. Blah, 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 blah. EMR's gonna eat your pie. Alright, I'm getting really old. I'm gonna tell my daughter, I'm saying, moving rave yard. That way she knows. Okay. That way she doesn't put the stones back on there. Because if they put the stones back on, the dead people won't disappear. <laughs> and I feel bad that I have to let them disappear. Kill the pig and sheep. No. He better not be a baby griever. I'm going to put him in timeout. I'll make baby prison for him. No, don't kill them. Why would you do that? I'll say why. Why? 
Why? Why, lady? I don't... I don't know, man. I... I tried. Lord of the Flies. Well, as you see, someone clearly just decided to ruin it. I died. <laughs> All that work and my daughter kills the pig. Pigs are not easy to get. You gotta, now they have to go all the way back and hunt and do that. But it is what it is. If they want to start griefing, the, the family died. <laughs> but you can't say I didn't try, guys. That was not on me at that point. Let's see how many. There's, there's a few on. But as I said, people can still grief. As you saw, if she wanted to, she'd kill the only remaining animals left. So I feel really bad. Let's see what the family chronicle says. Died with food in my hands. Sharona and Zane, keep it up. You're the best. So this generation is doing well. Um, my mom, my daughter is a little dumb though. I don't know. You can also watch your family on the PC one. So I can watch them right now. And, like, observe what they're doing. I just don't understand why they killed the pig. I do not understand. Like, here's the thing. If they wanted to move the pig pen, just make a new fence and put a baby pig and then murder. Like, I have no idea. No idea. I can't zoom out, so I can't see if she's killed the other one. But... I don't, I don't know why they just did that. <laughs> Jeez, so. I'm just baffled. Let's see. She might have just killed the pig. Let's see. Piggy dead. I think both are dead. No, she just killed the pig. I get if she, like I said, I get if she wanted to make it just the pig pen, but I don't know. If, no, she's going to go kill the sheep now. Right? No, she wants to make it a sheep pen. You don't have to... Never mind. Don't have to kill the animals until you make the other fence. But it's out of my way. <laughs> but there you go, guys. That's a little bit of the phone version for you. It's a lot like the PC with, my, with some differences. Like, as I said earlier, you can semi tem a bear and ride it. And kill things if you want or go fishing but that's way in the future for a tutorial but i hope you guys enjoyed this one i hope you enjoyed watching the little bit of the experience of the phone one i i wasn't spawning in very big towns but you can get some nice elaborate ones like i don't remember some of their names one was named rome uh, don't remember the other ones but there's really really big ones on there it's just i didn't have the luck where the bell is is where we go but i hope you enjoyed it it costs a little bit of money on the app but if you want to bring one hour one life on the go with you this is definitely a fun version to play you can play with your friends too on a private and if you want to play public like i said just say q or m or w or x as baby so you know who is who but i'm going to end the stream now only because my phone is dying but i hope you guys have a great night this will be up on youtube i'm going to cut it up so like it makes sense so when i'm building the fence i'll cut it up so it's just a smaller version but i'll also post the full video as well once i get the other one on there but i hope you enjoyed it um eternal if you're there do you have anyone you might want to recommend to raid because we can go raid someone because i don't mind supporting a fellow neighbor i wonder if someone's actually playing one hour one life i know after kevin played yeah uh, two days ago if anyone knows that youtuber he did blow up the game again which is great like, honestly, I am so happy for that because this is a really fun game. There's one person playing it. Um, I'm going to see. They're actually playing the PC version, too. So let me see if they... It's okay if they don't speak English, but let's see if they do. 
Um, so I'm going to have to turn up my computer, this computer's volume, I should say. Okay. Yes, they speak English. So why don't we go raid them? I have to figure out how to raid. <laughs> Ready? That's not it. React? That's not it. <laughs> that moment you don't know how to raid someone. Hey, Eternal. How do you raid somebody? <laughs> I know it's buttons with buttons. Oh, she did it for me. Thank you. But I hope everyone has a good night. Uh, I appreciate it. I'll learn. I'll learn eventually. Have a good night, everybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs>